Greetings, world! Yo! Hello. Welcome to the ninth world! Shit. Whoa, the weird! For our series premiere of Machine God. Oh. Uh, Woohoo! A uh, Monty Cook Games uh, campaign arc by the same name with uh, two main campaign arcs, one of which focuses around a cult and a machine god and huge epic scope, and the other uh, which focuses around the settlement of a settlement. <laughs> The, 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 settling the, settlement, the settling of a settlement uh, in the ninth world uh, and the building up of the community uh, so the, the, using the destiny rules of Numenera. So, the ninth world. Quick bird's eye view idea of the ninth world is Earth a billion years in the future. Mm. Nine civilizations besides humans. Maybe humans were one of them. It's not really known have risen and fallen to technological levels beyond our uh, imagining at the current moment. At one point, Earth was an intergalactic travel hub. At one point, it was an interdimensional hub. And many other insane things happened at some point. And now it is all totally fallen into disarray and ruin in a kind of post-apocalyptic feeling. Uh, so their remnants were back, were like in a medieval time period or technological era however we're uh, surrounded by the ruins of prior world architecture prior world machinery some of which is running some of which is just destroyed but can still be salvaged from and we are as humans in this world trying to rebuild a uh, place to live a place to live comfortably and pioneering into the future uh, that's the ninth world our current group is presently in the near the city of Aeon, uh, which I have uh, in the world map. We've got our token there, and yeah, it's in that. Whoa! 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 Laser pointer! Boom! 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 Can we just cool it? Man. Sorry, audience didn't catch that, that one because way mm, hot. Mm, someone needs to make a clip of that. Yeah. I, I oh. intend to clip it. <laughs> Un unfortunately, it was on the map Scrape at the time. But, uh, and uh, on here we've got our tokens. So they're near the city of Aeon. Uh, you guys have been tasked with uh, presently scouting out uh, that forest that we saw on the map, uh, which is. Uh, the mephetic forest. Mephetic? Mm. Mephetic. Mm. Like method. Method. Mephetic. Mephetic. Yeah, mephetic. Mephetic. <laughs> um, as, a, as a task, as a part of the Amber Gleaners, which is an organization uh, of traders and merchants and scholars who are collecting information about the world, but they're also building a uh, kind of a trade network. Uh, they they like create these like caches caches of um, goods so people traveling or exploring prior world ruins uh, can you know have a map that they're like here's a spot like, here's a cave I can stop in and it's going to be stockpiled with food it's going to be stockpiled with whatever uh, they have explorers do that kind of thing all the time but they have uh, recently started gathering crews to found uh, something more of a village um, an aldea uh, as they're called in the ninth world. Um, in order to have it be uh, a nexus uh, between uh, Malave is the kind of region that you guys are in here. Uh, and then we've got the cold desert there. Here, let's get this back on the screen for the... Uh... Voila. So this is where the group is at the moment in Malave. But they're trying to found a settlement uh, in the area of the cold desert here to kind of bridge the eastern and uh, and western regions. Mm. And so you guys are in, in a preliminary mission are scouting out this, this forest nearby. Um, and so I'm going to have you guys introduce your characters, but I'm going to set a scene. Mm -hmm. And my idea for this, this is kind of uh, stealing from um, some moments that we've had in... Uh, 
uh, Monster Hearts or whatnot, uh, where we did like an opening uh, montage, like we would describe our characters in the opening montage. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna describe a scene, and then I want you all to describe like your character in the moment, and think of it as in a movie, the freeze frame, where like your character is in close up and they're doing their thing, uh, and then it's like character name, mm -hmm. and then their shtick, right? Um, <laughs> So on the way to the Mephetic Forest, you guys uh, happened upon uh, it's pouring rain, and you happened upon due to some kind of erosion, some kind of flooding, a, uh, a prior world uh, structure that is has kind of jutted out over this over a valley um, that has eroded. It was just kind of barely sticking out, and some soil has eroded, and so there's this uh, machinery that's sticking out over this valley, um, and you guys saw it as a potential. Uh, salvage point mm -hmm. and so it's pouring rain mm. the rain is interacting in a weird way with some kind of uh, aura some kind of nanite field around this thing that's like partially dormant and so you're seeing kind of electricity charged in the air and uh, what is what's what's everybody's moment who wants to go first to describe their <laughs> there's, a, there's a big canyon or uh yeah, valley. Valley. I'll go second after I finish this bite. Okay. <laughs> and we're standing on, we're like coming into the valley, like on a. You're like kind of standing like on the edge of the valley, like jutting out over okay. the valley is this weird. Um, I'm seeing it as kind of obelisk shaped, uh, and there's uh, like metal panels and whatnot, uh, wiring, and all kinds of exposed uh, weird machinery. Studded with crystals that are sparking in the in the rain. All right, I can go. Okay, so <laughs> the, chewing, the chewing has finished. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, so stepping down off of a horse, uh, a man standing in in breastplate and and like tabard, uh, with a cloak over his head, pull, pulls back his cloak and and pulls off some device from his belt that is some sort of instrument that seems like he's like reading the static field that's going on here in a kind of scientific way and he's pulling it out and holding it up and, and there's like a lightning strike and it's like in that image of him like holding the device up and checking the thing out yes. uh, my character is uh, Andreas Forfax is an empirical archis who, who endures the leviathan mm. Adures? Adures. Sorry. Adures? There's a J in there. ADJ. Yeah. What is that word? It's kind of an, what does it mean? It, it's kind of a like older <laughs> uh, word, but but it basically means like to to like burn out or to like extinguish. Oh, um, okay. But but yeah. Um, That's great. I don't know. Not not much is known in the ninth world of this Leviathan deal, but it's kind of like the the. Uh, uh, malicious, um, predatory, sociopathic instinct, and in, in like evil, like monsters and stuff that my mm. character hunts out. Um, and yeah, he's a member of the um, Angulan Knights, who are also like their order specifically is about like for mankind and like hunting abhumans and and monsters and stuff. But his Leviathan thing is kind of overlapping with that. Excellent. Who wants to go next? I can go. Uh, so Shent, my character's name is Shent, and um, he's standing adjacent to um, Josh's character, but he's crouched down, like crouched down just a bit, and he's got his quarter staff, which is kind of a. Uh, it's been modified to be like a heavy quarter staff, right? So it's a bit bigger. Looks like a huge, like, um, like I don't know, what to call it a cane, but anyway. So he's standing there, and he's like got his hand up, looking down into the area, trying to like scan it as best he can. And um, his 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 hands and his face are partially they're like greenish because of his history, and his hair is kind of greenish too. And he's just drenched, right? He doesn't he's not trying to cover any of it. He's just um, and he wears really tight um, like battle clothes. That are, <laughs> So it's almost like he's wearing spandex, but he's not. Battle clothes. Yes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> spandex. So he's basically just hunched down with his thing, like staring down at the machine, just like eyeballing it. 
and weirdly plant-like, right? Yeah, green. He's like he's green. Yeah, yeah. His skin and his like hair and his eyes and like he's definitely green. So literally <laughs> plant thing. He's enjoying plant the thing. rain. Plant thing. And what he's is not? He's, he's not based by it. <laughs> What's his uh, his? So Shent is it's a strong of. blade who moves like a cat. Always. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, moves like a cat. Yeah. yeah. Shint. 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 And in uh, Numenera, the glaive is kind of our warrior class. Argus is more of our kind of uh, leader, diplomat, maybe bard type of class. Who, uh, who wants to go next? I guess I'll go next. So, while these guys are doing their, their very dramatic things, <laughs> all right, you, you notice what appears to be a very frail, cloaked person like standing next to the equipment, and he's murmuring, like, processing, analyzing, you know, extrapolating data, you know, like, like configuring new power source, restructure, start. And he, a, a skeletal but metallic hand comes out of the cloak, and it's, like, basically like what you would perceive a Terminator would be like, but with extra servos and stuff. And if you look close, you notice that they're, they're not the same components. They're not the, they're, they're different components. But anyway, and he kind of like hodgepodge, yes. cobbled together yeah. feeling. Yeah. All right. And he does something with his finger and turns the thing on. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. All right. This is Relay. Relay is a mm-hmm. nano is a mechanical nano who wields power with precision. Yes, right. yes. Nano is is something like a wizard. They're kind of the knowledge characters, but they're also uh, they they're aware of the truth of the Numenera, which is the prior world technology that many people just think of as magic. Yep. Yeah. 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 Who? Relay. 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 Who does what? He's a nano. He's a mechanical nano who wields power with precision. Okay. All right. So cool. And he's 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 got most of his facial plating still there. So yeah. there would be emotions, but there are no emotions. <laughs> There's just a blank expression. Mm. And he's just mumbling all of this technical jargon about this machine that you guys know nothing about. Mm-hmm. Right. Doesn't seem like he knows about it either. He's collecting data on the machine. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. All right. That's that's cool. man, that's that's really excellent. Nice. Our twins. <laughs> no. Are you guys twins you or just brothers? We sister? are twins. Twins and brother and sister. Yes. yes. I think it's more appropriate that you go first. You have to go first because <laughs> I've already decided what I'm doing in response to yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say if lightning flashes on. Andreas in the shadow of that moment is when you see the glint of goggles being lowered from the face of a small, compact, pretty androgynous, but (laughs) female-presenting person who is surveying with a steady and slightly lustful gaze (laughs) out over this exciting, (laughs) delicious Mm, tech, mm. um, pulls on a, like, heavy-duty glove (laughs) and withdraws slightly back into the shadow, (laughs) turning to look at a person of similar appearance, (laughs) clearly related. Time to delve in. This is a Relentless Delve. <laughs> yeah. That's your boys s- yesterday. Your <laughs> slogan, time to delve in. Yeah. Time to delve in. That's awesome. Relentless Delve who explores yesterday. So, yes. if that was this panel over here, <laughs> you look over here to the next panel in which a person of... Um, similar androgynous look but male presenting of very the same size has now grabbed Kelly under the arms while launching with my 
thunder harness. Oh no! Wait, no, carry. you have plans for that, right? I don't think I you... built it. You built it. It was my. I, I got one free build. And oh, I decided to sweet. Build it. Okay, yeah. awesome. I went with it. Yes. Uh, and so thunder harness. Got <laughs> thunder harness. Kelly under the arms and has launched off the edge of this toward this machine yes. um, <laughs> to get us closer, oh. and is also made some kind of like Numenera like quickly fashioned some Numenera into a umbrella that is now covering our heads. <laughs> yes. Um, while goggles are extending out and <laughs> excitement is all over his face. If um, I recall correctly, the, the Thunder Harness uh, is like a backpack that, that shoots like a jet of, of Hyper yes. pressurized air, right? Yes. That like launches you, similar to a yeah. jetpack. Right? So it's probably also blasting the people behind us with a, li- a like nice dust large and like that flies in here. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Again with the thunder harness. Yeah, it's totally. Oh. But it, <laughs> yeah, Fort, Forfax raises his shield. <laughs> but <laughs> Kelly, uh, Kilu's face right. is just so ecstatic and excited <laughs> about the prospect of uh, the new adventure. Yes. Um, Yes, Kilu is Kelly's twin, but I am a nurturing right who builds tomorrow. Sweet, and the right is the kind of engineer character, um, the engineer builder, gadgeteer style of character. You guys and the Del the triplet today, aren't you? Your character's name is Kelly. Kelly Sunlandic okay. and Kilu. Kilu. Gotcha. Josh, what was yours? Four facts. All right, give me a speed roll. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, uh, gravity well, gravity well. Oh, gravity that's well. right. Yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't that count. That doesn't count because the gravity well hasn't been rolled yet. Does not I count. I don't know about that. I don't know, man. I mean, you have to. You know, the, the reality. Yeah, of I think you need to reap what you well sow. We'll yeah. see yeah. how. The, what, you uh, what does it say uh, underneath the GM? It, oh, just GM. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Does it say anything about GM? Uh, it it GM? says benevolent GM. Oh, the, who well, raises the stakes? What? <laughs> uh, what? It is benevolent. So the. Uh, it was a six. It was a six. Uh, if if it is not a reroll, oh me first. I don't know if. Well, you this. you called down the thunder. Hey, it's a nice. Oh, hey, oh, oh glorious! Everyone okay with that? Put a bird on that. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, okay. I don't think I'm gonna beat that. Yes. The gavel is... knives behind a, a good a gravity well. <laughs> this is this is the magic of the material components table. The gravity well, and you can you can read about it in the chat, but uh, yeah. The shtick is it's a really damn big die, and we roll it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Every person gets a chance to roll it, but if you roll it after somebody else, the last result is gone. Mm-hmm. You got to stick with it if, if you uh, if you really want it. Place a bird mm-hmm. upon it, and that locks the uh, the number into place mm-hmm. and activates it. And activates mm-hmm. it. And and this is kind of our favorite bird, this owl. Mm-hmm. I feel like got it all that you could want from a bird. I know it's kind of the perfect bird. In the past, we've done like an X eagle. wings and eagles yeah. and whatnot, well, depending on the setting. But <laughs> I think an owl is too. fitting. Mm-hmm. All purpose yeah. for the ninth world. Yeah. Things were great. Yeah. 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 The lot, GM right. has attempted to put aberrations on the D twenty, <laughs> and the players have strongly insisted that that would not work. <laughs> yeah, not, not cool. Work. <laughs> not the cool. Squid thing yeah. on the D twenty. Uh, yeah. Gravity well, come on. Well, that was okay yeah. only in saw. And, in that case, yeah. it was totally That's true. Yeah. Yeah. In soft, you could have it in mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, an, an appropriate monster. And everyone was cool with it, too. They were like, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. We were, we were a big demonic cult, basically. <laughs> I don't know. Otherworldly cult, even alien, almost. Okay, so, um, yeah. I, I'll keep my roll. You'll I keep your roll six. six? Goodness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh... Let's see. I have no room. edge. No, yeah, did you spend any effort? I guess I, I should ask. No, I didn't. You don't even I, have I have to do that before didn't the roll, right? Didn't everybody have at least right? one edge? There's at least There's one category where you don't have an edge. Oh, oh in that category. I'm yeah. sorry, man. It'd be yeah. in his speed. Yeah, so I only had edge and one in my intellect, mm-hmm. and Same. but then I got one effort. I got you. Um, That's what I meant, the effort. Everybody yeah, gets Yeah, everybody effort. gets effort, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... 
Yeah, and I think that I was mostly horse playing, so like I'm probably not trying very hard, but Yay. I don't like you mean like horsing okay. around. <laughs> isn't that isn't that another mm -hmm. way to say that horse play? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm horsing around. Alright, so you jet out over <laughs> your Zorse over around. the valley and realize or that like that the uh, this is Zorse one of the play. first times that you've used this thing. So yes. <laughs> it is like wildly out of control and, and you immediately are like just do a U-turn and turn back down and then land back on the ground and, <laughs> and Kayla stumbles off the back of you. My character does like um, a roll. Get out of the way. <laughs> it's back up on the, on a pouch and it's just like, God damn it. <laughs> Digs a furrow in the ground as you as you land and yes. the blast of the of the uh, uh, of the pressurized air. And you can keep going with it because I feel like it's um <laughs> It lasts for like a minute or something, right? Yeah. But then it has to recharge for an hour in the sun. Yeah, that's right. Um, I probably <laughs> drag us around a little bit and then like <laughs> kind of come up, but all safe over the like over the uh, the lead, not 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 over the side of the edge, but and then eventually probably come to a pretty ungraceful <laughs> stop into the ground. <laughs> All the while, I'm just laughing, and I don't, I don't know what Achilles would do. <laughs> Sneering, probably eating some durian. <laughs> you guys see Fourfax lean over the edge, and then he says, I do hope you are done playing around there with your lord and lady. <laughs> uh, I'm, just, I'm just having a little fun. No big deal. Come on. Everyone should be excited when we see something like this. Are we in the cold desert yet? You're, uh, no, not quite. You're you're in the outskirts of the mythetic forest, so you're, like, right here. Oh, right. Yeah. The laser pointer. Um, I think the valley... The mythetic the forest is no place for fun. Are you sure? It seems pretty fun to me. I'm just, like, <laughs> like spin my cloak around and, like, storm back off to the horse. <laughs> Feel bad for him sometimes. <laughs> Such a grump. It's a waste get over of it. pity, if you ask me. <sighs> nah, there's a good guy down there somewhere. I'm sure of it. Not everyone needs to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I will also head <laughs> towards. We'll see about that. All right, what are you guys doing? Uh, finding a safe way to descend. Um. Alas, we have no goat to find ways for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. No magnificent climb, goat. A climb check, yeah. perhaps. <laughs> I'll do a climb check. And make sure to, before you roll, if the you're going to expend effort, yeah. Um, and if you're trained in climbing. Mm, that's where I got I have a, I wrote down. I do we have an, any I idea of how challenging climbing. it seems? Um, this seems, uh, to get to it is a standard, uh, mm. so it is a six, six. target. Mm. Well, Relay says perhaps I have a, a simpler solution if we're all in agreement on, and he rambles off this extremely fast contractual agreement about yes. us working yeah. together. <laughs> you know, it's, it's super fast, but it's, the, the, the gist of it is as long as we are... It's the fine print. <laughs> Equal in whatever we find in this delve that we're about to undertake. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then he proceeds to pull out this small spheroid object, and it, he holds it in his hand like this, and he lets it go, and it turns into either a rope or a ladder, oh. depending on the GM's discretion. Oh, really? Nice. All right. you know, I mean, it's not what I'm, I don't know how what I can make with my simple object. My, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Is it an oddity or a uh, My photonic cipher? fabricator. Yeah, it's... Oh, the cipher. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think you choose what you create with it. It says simple objects, though, but nothing mechanical. Mm. Yeah. So I was Mechanic wondering if, if the rungs are that too either. much. No, it actually says ladder as an example, okay. I think, on the cards. Nice. So I, I, I create a ladder. Or is it both a rope ladder? It's a rope ladder. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> it unrolls out. Right. And it's actually, you notice at the end, it's like fused to the top. It's like a... Uh, like a coil or something like mm -hmm. a cable yes. but it's, it's yeah not, it's all one piece so mm -hmm. it's not two objects. it's roped down the sides but the bars are like <laughs> right. weird metal rods yes yeah, yeah. So and it's, a, it's 3d printing this thing in yes. front of you guys gosh just i a, feel like, like a we review. need Keep, uh, mm -hmm. you tell us before we roll what the, the i mean we have to decide before we know what 
where the marker is. Yeah, sometimes. Right. For the most part, I'll tell you, yeah. Um, okay, that will provide an asset on the task. Okay. Um, um. So if you're trained, is that lower one, yeah, one difficulty, yeah. So if you're trained in climbing, the, there will be no roll. I need that. Oh, because I'm not trained in climbing. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, four climbing. facts is a quick study. If I take Let's a round of study, the facts, uh, my next combat action gains an asset. So I I am like um, I don't know. I'm I'm getting a, a view from like elsewhere to look back at like the cliff face that we'll be descending and kind of like taking in the the best route. Before going down. Cool. Does that seem like a, yeah. a good use of that? Yeah. So you spend an action studying, mm -hmm. kind of testing out the terrain and feeling like the slickness on the rocks and like yeah. testing out. And and then with a uh, with the rope, then I don't have to roll at all, right? right. Mm -hmm. Just watch me. I'll mm -hmm. show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So so Fourfax throws his shield over his back and and like. Well, first he first he studies it for a long time. <laughs> Does someone does someone jump? I I, oh, I go yeah. down. You can you can you can study me. Mm -hmm. yeah. just like climbing it's down awesome. like uh, like a cat. Yes. Moves like and a you're cat. trained in climbing. Right? Trained in climbing. Yeah. So no roll necessary. So my character is moving down with ease. Mm -hmm. I'm also trained in. I don't climb. think I can do that. Um, I'm gonna have to climb. It's, kind of it's easy. It's difficult. a standard though, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like hanging off with of one arm. Yeah. I'm like, yep, we're good. All right. I'll wait because because I don't want to bust my frail ass. I'm sorry. You know. Um, not built yeah, is there anything things. we can do to assist Excuse those me, above my boom. to provide boom. additional assistance? To assist another yeah. person? Yeah, you can use your action to provide an asset mm -hmm. on somebody else's task if you're like trained at the same level as them or higher. Okay. I yeah. mean, I suppose I used my action to climb, not that yeah. we're going in any formal order. But, so you guys yeah. have descended down this yeah. uh, down this cliff Fantastic uh, on the ladder. The ladder is is uh, has been comfortably oh, rested onto the edge of this obelisk that's sticking out. Actually, nice. I just ropes and just Does a down. five do it? Right. No, I think, twenty. I think you needed a three, so I think you're good. Oh, yep. yeah. yeah. Because because of the rope. I do yeah, not look it. like I'm doing well, but I look like I'm having fun. <laughs> Swinging around on the rope ladder. Yeah. Shit is down at the bottom, just watching you, shaking his head, just like. Oh. Um, it's gonna be so, fine. It's gonna so be as fine. Uh, you guys are, you guys are all have all moved down the ladder, and uh, this obelisk is sticking out, and so you're standing kind of at the base of it, where it's where it's sticking out. Um, and Shent has uh, has like with a cat-like balance started creeping out on it. Uh, and as uh, as relay descends, uh, I'm going to give you with your major um, effect when you roll that twenty, you get like kind of a bonus thing. Okay. Um, yeah. A free uh, a free scan action right. of, of the obelisk. Yeah. So I'm I'm sliding down the rope with like one hand. I'm kind of like rappelling down because I understand how this thing works. I'm just looking at the obelisk, and I'm going to scan it for entryways, like mm. accessible entryways as I'm sliding down. Excellent. So I got to do a roll for that? Nope. You, uh, well, yeah, yeah, you do. I'm sorry. All right. And I add my inf my, int my intellect effort to that. How does that work again? Yeah, so this is going to be a uh, challenge of a four, okay. uh, which is a difficult... Um, so you're looking at 12. All right. You so can expend. You probably understand Numenera. All right. I do right? understand Numenera. Um, so that will shift it down to a nine. Okay. Um, and then you can expend effort if you want to reduce right. it further. All right. And it'll cost me one edge of intellect. Uh, it'll cost you three points from your intellect pool. But All if right. you have an edge, it'll reduce it by, two. By, by that much. I'm just going to roll and see if I can beat this nine on this initial scan. Okay. All right. Which I did. Nice. All right. Okay. Um, all right, you uh, you scan this thing over, are mm -hmm. getting this input of all this different data. It seems like there is some dormant machinery that's still running inside of it, right. um, though it has ceased to perform whatever use it once did. Right. Um, but you uh, you pinpoint a uh, um, you notice that it's made of this uh, uh, synth steel. It seemingly has no uh, no seams, though there are certainly point points where it's cracking and there's wires and whatnot hanging mm -hmm. out. Um, but it's made of, of like a really durable uh, synthetic steel that that uh, was fabricated in some prior world. Right. Um, so it'll be hard to break into, um, but 
you have gathered data about where um, pieces inside of it are. So the salvaging check, uh, whoever ends up doing the salvaging will get an asset from the information relayed by relay. All right. And relay says extrapolating, you know, Dura still, you know, shield plating, you know, something about the power generator is, you know, corrupted, you know, C file. 32, right? <laughs> .txt. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. He starts rambling off all this technical jargon, and he says it in, in, in layman's terms. It's like, uh, we can't use too much physical strength to enter this obelisk, but if you do this, what am I supposed to be doing here? What are they doing? Right. Role playing. <laughs> Real play. I, mean, but, uh, I guess, okay, so he figured out a way that you could actually there's an auxiliary power that powers the doors and the, the, the entryways. So he figures out a way for us to somehow power those with your salvage checks, you know, I guess. I'm doing this out of character, but that's... Yeah, if someone were to make yeah. some kind of uh, Numenera check, they could potentially open it uh, by fiddling with wires and right. running commands through it, or right. it could also be bashed open. All right. I like <laughs> tap my quarter staff on it. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it could be busted open. It's going to be a difficult uh, task, so it'll be nah, a 12. He just gives it a, he just gives it a, a tap right. just to test it out, just to, just to hear it. Yeah, it, see if it, sounds it like. rings in the air, and you see, you see like, as the rain is coming down, some, like, static electricity jumping between the, <laughs> the raindrops. Yeah. Cover me. She's going She's going to go in. <laughs> <laughs> but once the umbrella. <laughs> oh. No problem. That's what cover me means. Let's do it. Wait. Oh no! Are you sure you know what you're doing? G GM intrusion. Uh, uh. GM intrusion. What were you? What were you doing? I was going to do a. I'm like poking in at the wires, trying to get this. Using salvaging to. I don't know what we're, we're like we're restricting like the, the door. Yeah. All right, so you're you're messing with these wires, trying yeah. to trying to hotwire this thing into opening, and a a, a bolt of lightning streaks across the sky, um, just in the moment as you were about to connect wires, and you accidentally connect two of the wrong ones and get yourself shocked, uh, and and it is enough for you to lose your footing because this thing is nice. slick. Uh, so you start slipping, and you have these wires in your hand, and you and you slip off the edge of this obelisk, and then are hanging by these wires. And you guys are seeing oh, man, in the way more. that if you're like pulling wire out from the inside of something, right, they're just like over. becoming longer and longer as all the wire is shifting in place. And my character yeah. definitely moves like a cat. It's just like <laughs> like slides over to the edge, mm. and uses the counterweight from his um, pole arm. And like reaches down to grab her. Sweet, her give me a uh, speed, speed check here. <laughs> um, I think this will be demanding. So this is a a nine. I am also helping. Obviously, I was standing right there. Speed check, you said. Okay, um, you're helping him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the task? Um, this is just grab. She's grabbing hold of her. I like, my. Is it just? Uh, uh, it's a speed. Oh, uh, just a speed test. Yeah. So would I be able to aid? Like I put the pole action. out as a counterweight, so if you mm. wanted to grab onto that to help with my counterweight, that could definitely would that help. would that work? Like in play. Um, are you trained in like balance, athletics, or balance? Balance. Yeah, I'm not, so I probably couldn't aid. Yeah, him, I don't right? think you would aid him. Yeah. Gotcha. But okay, so I said it was a demanding. So you you're trained in balance, so that's mm. going to shift it to a a six. Are you trained in maybe athletics? No. Okay. Jump actions, but not athletics. Um, you could also expend effort from your speed pool if you wish, but you're looking at a six on the dice. Oh, right now I'm just a six at it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, use my balance, and then and go for it. Yo! Oh my god! Come on! Going on? on? Oh, we have strayed from the path of the gravity well. <laughs> I just yeah I rolled. We one are all minute. going. You down. go off the side. <laughs> <laughs> this thing just it, it's got me too. I'm just like starting to slide down, slide off, or whatever whatever you you, you say. I, just, I yeah, feel you, like that's safely within the moves like a cat category though. Yeah. It's very like a cat to try to rescue something and overstate their abilities. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're I mean you have like uh, you found this <laughs> this kind of weird crack in the obelisk and you've jammed your quarter staff in it and like wiggled it for just a quick second to test it. 
and then like slid over um, and using resting your whole weight on this thing and your legs are, are pitched on the side of it and you reach out and grab hold of, uh, of Kele. Um, however, you guys all hear a strange whirring sound from the inside after these wires have been connected and the doors open and and one of the doors was part of the crack that you had wedged your So you guys are both you guys are both falling. Oh man. But you're holding on to each other. Very tight. And the doors open. Yeah, there's a hiss of steam and a blast of air that comes out from the inside of this thing and uh and you see out of the corner of your eye uh various different uh iodum that you're like <laughs> but but your sister is plummeting. Right, yeah. I would be more concerned with Kelly. I'm probably screaming. Oh, like, um... Hey, Eric, what's up? Um, Eric, thanks for joining. Two down. Roll new characters. Thank you for coming after me. <laughs> Already our characters are plummeting to their death. It's awesome. <laughs> Two nat ones in a row. Oh, this, oh, this, yeah, man. Oh, it's coming according to <laughs> <laughs> Um... God. Anybody got any ciphers that might be helpful? I think in this no, moment, I don't. I mean, I, I could, I could certainly like reach out and try to catch, but I don't you know said they're how together. much harder it's going to be with two. Yeah, people. they're they're uh, holding basically arms. I have a cipher that can give someone a boost to their speed edge that might help mm-hmm. with the rescue, but I'm too weak to use it in this situation. It won't help me out. Though. Yeah, I think I'd be using strength to just try to grab onto right. somebody and keep them from falling. All right. So I do have. I'm trying to jump. So I don't know if that'll help me with my fall. Are y'all actually falling, or are they holding on to the side of the edge? Or something I think they're like falling. We're freeze falling. We're freeze we're frame. But you're hold on to, like, holding on to each we other. We got each other. Yeah, it's in slow motion. There's a. How far is this edge that we're? How far down are we talking that they'll fall? Um. <laughs> how cons- like how concerned should I be? <laughs> like a. <laughs> yeah. 100 feet. Oh, shoot. Okay, so mean. Kelly, not like a, this is not utter death, but it's pretty, oh, it's pretty heavy. No, that's this a is, bad fall. This, was not I what, can, this can, is not what Kelly... Yeah, I guess ten, that's 10 <laughs> stories, right? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be pretty nasty. This is not what <laughs> Kelly wanted to use. This we'll say 50, 50 feet. And you can yeah, say there still, might be... That's, <laughs> that's, that's, to fall into that's serious broken us. bones. Are there, like, trees? There's, and maybe, there's trees yeah. and There's, like, rocks and stuff and 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 various... Oh, good, rocks. Rocks, yeah. Don't worry, the rocks... you can grab The rocks will catch that fall. And you're seeing other, other like tips of okay. other of these obelisks right. sticking out from the side, but this, this jagged, one is pretty far. Pretty far okay, I, so yeah, Kilu wanted to use this for something different than what this is, but I will be using it for this. Um, I have this thing called a tether. Oh yes, that was. Not it, as climactic as I was. It looks like this. Actually, the <laughs> description of it is radical. Yes. Fires a metal spike at a target within range that inflicts two points of damage. Then, as a part of the same action, the spike shoots a second metal spike at a different target within immediate range of it that inflicts the same damage. The spikes are connected by a tether mm-hmm. until either target uses an action. So I imagine Kilu takes out this gun-looking thing <laughs> that has also a gun pointed kind of back at mm. his face. <laughs> Too and he, gun. like, <laughs> he points it at him. <laughs> and then when he shoots, moves his head so that the other side hits against the wall of right. the obelisk. Right. Yes. And then fires at them as well. Sweet. Give me a uh, speed. <sighs> I'm going to use effort. I really want to do it. Void effigy. Void effigy. <laughs> Thanks for joining hey, us. Hey, Good hey. to have you back. Um, here it goes. It's one time use the movable rod. Jesus Christ. Uh, so the, I don't know what the task was. Or anything? Yes. Okay. Um, so I am using effort. I rolled a four. Uh, Can I use my Numenera as my cipher as an assist to him and give him this thing to give him a plus two to his speed age? No, it would have to be done before. Okay. Yeah. Did we have any XP going into this? Mm. Or no? I don't think so. Okay. Should I be generous and give you guys all one XP to start with? No. Well, no, I'm not going to. Don't it's do it. To you. I'm not that benevolent. <sighs> um, okay. Wow. You rolled a four, and and you eased it by one with effort? Yeah. 
And uh, are, what, are you trained in anything that you think could narratively help you in this situation? Um, if I built it, I was I am trained in engineering. I don't know if that would apply. That kind of seems like a reach. Yeah. Uh, that I would be like, I know it very well because I built it, but I don't, I can't tell you if I built it or not. Uh, um. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm going to go with a uh, Powered by the Apocalypse the cost. And, and be uh, a, a succeed with a cost. Oh, man. Um, so you you fire this thing at them as they're falling, and uh, evens odds. Oh! Odds. odds. Shent the, the, the pokey end of this just pierces into your ribs. I like to imagine oh. it was coming for me, and I like... Oh. <laughs> Get out of the way, because I'm used to this nonsense. <laughs> you take uh, you four, four points of might uh, damage as this thing pierces through your ribs, and you feel it punch through the other okay. end, mm, and then totally. and then like open up in like a kind of grab. Oh, 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 and then and for a second you scream, and then you scream even harder as when it pulls all, yeah. the, weight, oh, all the weight of two bodies oh, is pulled on it. Oh. <laughs> I'm screaming, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm you sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then sorry. For, for a moment you guys are swinging on this weird tether rope as as lightning and storm is flashing oh, above you guys. Bouncing off the side of the arm. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hurry up! Yeah, I mean, we better climb up this, right? Or can you retract it? A bit of, like, green <clears throat> bloodish stuff I was comes, wondering. like, coming out from my... The green, green blood. <laughs> <laughs> It's dripping right onto your face. I well, I could I could try to like w- work on like you pulling said four, it up. Keith, awesome. Four yeah. Four, right? But I think I'm gonna say five. That's fine. Because of the or actually six. We'll say it's a medium yeah. hit. Right or no? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going like through wave. me, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, and it's ugh. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seemingly unfazed by the the blood. I as hard as he hits, he heals a lot harder. He's got a big heart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's I'm why sorry, I'm no sorry. Space he almost speared my heart. Oh, God. You did good. <laughs> so we need to get them up now? Yeah, somebody got to do a, a climb or, or some kind of check. I'll climb. As far as that. 14. 14, excellent. <laughs> there we go. All right, you you scale up. What what uh, did it describe the? Uh, it's like a. It's hard to tell oh. exactly if it's like a. Oh, that's gonna hurt. A, like a, too. connected by ropes or it seems like a metal cable connected by a tether. It seems like a yeah maybe a cable. Um, just because it's Numenera, it has to be weird. Uh, it, it's basically like uh, intestines. No, it's like a thread. <laughs> it's like super oh, super, super thin. thin. Yeah. Oh. Um, so you're having to like grab hold of this thing and then like wrap it around in order to get enough tension and then go like up and do that again here. Kind of cutting so, you yeah it's that. like cutting my hands <laughs> yeah well good thing i put my utility gloves on and you could have used an action to remove it from mm. you I'm so removing it <laughs> yeah in case you fall to get to the top yeah all right Let's you guys are back at the obelisk hand over hand <laughs> breathless <laughs> I, bleeding and yeah and he's tethered. like i'm down so on sorry he's just like laying on okay? his side he's like cut it Pull it out already. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I've got some light tools, so I probably have a knife in there. I... Ooh, Void Effigy had some good thoughts. Hard light. Yeah, it's made of hard light. Oh. <laughs> Spider thread goo or force. Awesome. Yes. I cut it with soft dark. <laughs> All right, you guys are back on the back. thing. You're back on the obelisk. <laughs> the door is open. The door is open. Um, um, somebody well, cauterize my wound. Yeah, we gotta take care I'm of gonna take care of him. Sure. All right. Um, I'm gonna take care of Shent. That's your name. Uh, so healing tasks are the the difficulty is the number of points you're trying to heal. How much did I do? Negative six. Are you specialized or trained? I'm trained, so it will be a three to Can get you I fully healed. You? <laughs> uh, if you're only if you're trained in healing. I am. Oh really? Minus one. That's like a. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so you're both trained. Do we have to roll? So we'll be able to shift it twice. Well, it, it's it's a difficulty six. Oh, so it's so eighteen. Six. Yeah. So you're shifting it twice uh, because both of you are trained. You also have a first aid kit, right? 
Or yes, we I do. About? Okay. Um, I forgot to write that down, but yeah, I remember we were talking about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, of course I, I do. Uh, it's right yeah. here. I'm making a character. Of course. <laughs> well, make sure to look it up and pay for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it came with my nurturing. Oh, okay. But I can't. I'll, I'll check it out. Um, so you're looking at a nine on the dice right now. You could Is expend that with the first date or? Yep. Um, yep, yep, yep. Okay. You're this three. is looking really yeah. bad. You can expend effort from your intellect pool to get it down. Yeah, I'll do that. To a six. And uh, I've got an edge, so okay. it only cost me two. Excellent. Um. So uh, what do I do? Yeah, I break open this this first aid kit, and it's like some, it's like a vial of like some nasty goo or something that just like I just like, like put yeah. it, just let it drip all over. You know, I'm you sort see of like Shant like put presses a few buttons on his armor on his armor, and the nanites like move out of the way oh. so that you can like administer this stuff. He's like, just pour it on there. Come I, on, I've never done this before. Oh uh, yeah, what, how strong is your armor? Oh, yeah, the armor's a, a two. Okay, so actually there would be two points less damage. Okay, so it's four, then. right? So yeah. then I don't think you need to roll. Oh, well, I might save the first aid kit then. Well, you don't, it doesn't go away. It's not, oh, it, it's, it's like just a tool. A permanent. constant asset. Mm -hmm. Whoa, mm -hmm. that's crazy. It's cool. got unlimited okay. band-aids. That's, yeah. <laughs> Of goo. Yeah. I think, I think before the goo, the goo probably patches up, right? Yeah. I think before I think the goo, you got a Neosporin insect that crawls in there and, like, oh. lays its Neosporin egg. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then there it is. desiccate <laughs> and kill off all the bacteria. Not weird <laughs> enough for Numenera, it turns out. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so, here, so I don't have to roll. Is that what you said? If you're still expending effort, then you don't have to roll, yeah. Um, Otherwise, it's a three. I, I will not expend effort. Okay. I don't know what I'm That's doing. what got me into I'm this. Try really I didn't I'm expend sorry. any effort. Oh, it's an eight. Excellent. Okay, good. All right, so you're back to full. Yeah, and then he represses the button and the nanites go back together. And like, <laughs> While they're doing all of that, in classic automaton form, form, I turn around and I immediately scan the room for magic or Numenera. <laughs> okay. All right, Thanks well, off well since magic is the wow. ability that I'm using. <laughs> Next time. Okay. All right, so I'm actually scanning for any for ciphers you. or... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to spend... Next time it'll cost you both. One... Let's just see I got to do. Make sure I'm doing this I guess right. that's only fair. So that's an action. So an action just costs, like, one effort? No, one an action's just a, your turn. Like, like it's, it's, it's a button on his... All right, but I got to use standard standard action. Intellect to do it, I guess, like a right? Six foot uh, how difficult is the task to scan like, for in that first room where, where we open the door at to, to sense inside. anything in that room? Sort of white back on mm. wet bloody hair. Uh, I'm gonna taste the blood. I'm gonna uh, I'll say it, the whole thing it's is not quite four. Iron. It has like okay. that. But you're trained in uh, Numenera, so we'll say it's like a nine. Like yeah. a nine, okay. nine on the dice, and you can use has, right. effort. I'm not gonna use effort. I'm I guess gonna that would be iron. And you know what? You've already so scanned it. So that will reduce it again. So you're looking at a six. A six, all right. That's an 11. Nice. Hey. Excellent. Awesome. All right, so this will mechanically provide another asset to whoever is salvaging because you've identified right. this is Numenera, this is, you know, this is Iodum, right. this is Numenera, this is what. what. Right. So whatever you're salvaging, you'll have two assets. Right, so oh, because he's already scanned it. Nice. To kind of identify all the machinery, awesome. and then he, yeah. and then uh, I'm still rambling, and I'm just like naming off things now, just just naming off like you know, Kodak, you know, Photo Blaster, you know, <laughs> Synth right, Steel, you know, <laughs> Responsive Synth. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, and anybody else? Robots. I'll yeah, I'm, I'm just like stepping into the room, like with my shield up, kind of in. Sorry, in you guys keep saying room, but it's kind of just like a. It's just like an obelisk. Okay, it doesn't have any, any sort yeah, of inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's okay. there's like wiring and machinery okay, and stuff yeah. on the inside. Okay, I get yeah. you. I'm sorry. I thought it was a room. No, no, no sorry. I, I just open up like a panel is what we did. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get mm -hmm. you. Yeah, it was. Yeah, not so much a door. It was a panel. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Cool. But, well, then I don't but you could shrink yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> <inside. All right. laughs> My face deeply into the circle. Is it on? Is like stuff so powered in here? It is, but it doesn't it's seem like it's doing forward. anything, and and it seems like a lot of it is like shut down and like okay, half functioning. Okay, so it, it's like a computer. It's the equivalent of a computer that's like just running on its BIOS and it hasn't you. booted up to any operating system or anything. I yet. got you. If I fall this time, just let me die. <laughs> I'm gonna try to salvage again. <laughs> Sweet. Come on. 19! There we go. Yes! There we go. Excellent. 
minor effect. Um, all right, so we got two assets. Um, dang. Seeing anything good in there? I can't wait. I can't wait. Seeing you turn in here. All right. It's a and you're also trained <laughs> in salvaging, right? I am specialized. Specialized. Dang. Okay. Uh, give me. Well, who did you think you hired for this job? Well. What are you looking for? Yeah. Are you looking for Iodum, Numenera? Yes, Iodum you that he is. Circuitry. And you got a Bones. 19, oh, nat, nat, 19. All right. Inside is a pink. Um, so it's kind of like a little. little give me. Right. All right, hold on. It's not even a room, hardly. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah. It's like a ventilation shaft, like a worker's <laughs> shaft. Yeah. Oh, that's All right, give me five percentile rolls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone give me a percentile test. <laughs> I'm using void effigies. Thank you. If two assets didn't catch five of them. Ten. I'm using void effigies. Uh, uh, homebrew rules here Ooh. for to to speed things up a bit. Awesome. Seventeen. Seventeen. I can write them down too. Uh, this is a uh, responsive oh. synth. I will write them down since they most likely will probably be coming. And Daniel, roll a d6 for how much of it? Three. All right, you got three units of responsive synth. Okay. Uh, twenty-eight. First thing. Twenty-eight is apt clay. Give me another d6. One. One unit of apt clay. Third thing. Uh, 52. 52. Azure Steel. D6. 2. 2. Azure as an A-Z-U-R-E. Awesome. I'm waiting on that 100. Well, I gotta, oh wait, I gotta limit it to the number. Right, Void Effigy doesn't, it it has to be limited (laughs) to the number, the, the level of the thing. Um, so... I think we'll be able to go one higher because we have 19. level of the place. Yes, excellent. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it up one notch just because we got the 19. But um, give me another 46. Another roll. What was I at four? Yes, this yes. is the fourth one. 46, you said. Yes. Uh, pliable metal. Two. Two units of pliable metal. Fifth. Eleven. Eleven is I'm liking all this stuff that you guys are getting. Three. Three units of IO. This is what they're pulling out of there. Uh-huh. These are all like well, parts for building. These are the things I used stuff. to like they're actually make my new mm-hmm. and stuff like uh, that. two more. Oh grapes. Um Does anyone else have purpose for this stuff? I, I guess I thought I, my character was the only one. No, I don't. I can't build any Numenera, but you know. No, but we can salvage again for Numenera for like ciphers. Oh, okay. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. I can break the Numenera. Uh, you're you're gonna have to roll again because it's too it's too high. Exactly. Oh, uh, I guess eighty would also be too high. Yeah. (laughs) Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, responsive synth. D six. Five more. Five more responsive synth. Um, eight. Eight is also IO. One. Alright. Now, if you would like to salvage for uh, other stuff, you could salvage for ciphers. Uh, I'm like. I would think. I, I just want. I'm, I'm interested in doing a narrative bit Stressed. here. <laughs> you also got 20 parts, oh, which God. are like just kind of yeah. raw, raw pieces. Jeez, that's awesome. Um, that's pretty cool. I am like probably standing behind as she's <laughs> as she's digging this stuff out, just like hopping up and down. Like and I don't a know child. what any yes. of it is. I just know that it's and good. I'm like, and and <laughs> it into as like, you're like ripping things out, relay is like pointing at things as they appear <laughs> underneath wires. Uh, 18 millimeter screw. <laughs> Get that control panel right there. It's made out of electrum. Uh, you know. I am just home. like I'm grabbing this Those things and I'm just work. so pumped. This is a lot of stuff. Oh, that is an old school USB port right there. <laughs> I, know. I think this I, would I, be. I, you know, neither I or Shint are helping you load any of this stuff out of here. No. Nope. Oh, come I'm, on, it's gonna be Shint's great. Shint's stretching out his, his wound. Oh! Skill. 
Still. Shit's all better anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I guess right? I better ca- keep looking. There's a, it's a rewritable. I, Kelly like, pauses for a moment, <laughs> thinking about this incredible bounty and whether or not it's worth it to keep. You know, like only it, bad. It is going to be harder. Taking more, and then it's like doubly intense and <laughs> pulling more stuff out. There's a Smiling. P30X. All right, so you're looking at a later at a six team. this time around because okay. it, it is going to be harder. Nobody. I will oh. look I know. for Warner Brothers, Marvel, We Martian, use two ciphers. I feel like I should mm-hmm. look for ciphers. Yeah. Iridium P30X. Nine. Nine, all right. Special Nine does it. Uh, um, I'll say you find... I need to die, too. There you go. This is going to be a uh, D3. You find two... Ciphers. Perfect. Oh, cipher cam. Oh man, I've had this camera cypher on that. Cam. <laughs> I've had this cypher camera on that road for a good ten minutes now. You know, <laughs> you never know who might come by. All right, this is a uh, this is going to be our new thing for ciphers. Cipher cam. Cipher cam. Cipher voting. Yes. Boom and. Oop. We're gonna go with this screen here to get all up in it. So, chat, this is all on you guys. Do we want a filament detonation or a seed boat? Um, I yes. was gonna, I was gonna mention a narrative, a story point here while they're voting, if that's cool. No. Keith. Sorry, sorry I'm, I'm having uh, there we go. Technical difficulty. I didn't know there was a poll open. Alright, so exclamation point, vote space, one or two in order to vote for this. Um, or if you want to be a butt, you can do zero, zero and get a new try again. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining somebody being like, I don't like either of those cybers and so I demand right. a new car. Get another one. And it doesn't respond uh, in any way, but the vote is calculated if if you got it right. <laughs> it's kind of an unfortunate. I was digging into the mechanics of it, and it doesn't respond in any way, and they're like, we don't want to spam the chat, but... Yeah, that's a good one. Weaponize that seed boat. <laughs> <laughs> I could see how that could get serious if you had, like, over 50 <laughs> that's people right, in the chat right. room. Yeah, that's that would a be good a lot. One. Um, I was going to say, while, uh, while you're probably tiptoeing up to, like, look into this panel, right? <laughs> um, and as Kelly's doing this, I would imagine um, y'all would probably get a pretty decent look as she strex- stretches her neck out at this very, very intricate, almost tattoo-looking mark on her skin. Um, mm-hmm. Do we decide what color it is? No. We don't also, we also don't know what, like, color we are. We've decided on, like, maybe gold or, like, <laughs> something, something ridiculous, maybe blue, skin. Purple. Skin color. Okay. Yeah. Go with purple. I'll always yeah, you go could, with purple. You could go nuts, but, but most humans, um, uh, as depicted in the art, are pretty, pretty black, um, because the world has kind of, like, um, it's so far in the future that, yeah. that everything is has kind of blended. Yeah. I, I mean, black like African American black, or black like those curtains right there. Uh, black like African American black. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm good, good with that. A clarity go with that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we can be like uh, maybe yeah, a, a lot, tattoo a lot that's of the like. Cover uh, art. It right. Looks. I like noticed that. I noticed brown, so that's the reason why. Mm-hmm. That is yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. That is incredibly awesome. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So this. This, yeah, and so that color white, except it's not like paint, it's like crazy, like detailed tattoo of these uh, sort of three towers. Um, yes. Of different differing sizes. And where is it on your guys? On the neck. Opposing the sides of our necks. Mm-hmm. So. And I think that I probably wear like a big scarf or something that usually hides it, so you haven't noticed it up until now. Mm. And and relay has some kind of weird fixation on this symbol, mm-hmm. but don't really like it. It seems like something buried in the recesses of your memory, okay. but you don't really know. I can't access it yet. Yeah, you don't really know what it is, but it is like right. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I start a, my own new subroutine to understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm like analyzing. I'm, I'm running it through this yes. this, this database of, of symbols in my head right now. Mm. So I'll figure it out. I thought this was yeah. a good time to uh, bring it up because when we decided the cool aspect of it is whenever it is um, whenever it is around a lot of Numenera um, it begins to shimmer almost like mm. fish scales okay. cool uh, alright seed boat seed boat it looks like a pill yes or maybe a bunch of pills <laughs> that you pour into the water and uh um, when it's at least 10 poured into water that's at least 10 feet deep, it causes the device to absorb the water and instantly grow into a flat bottomed boat. The boat is large enough to hold 10 okay. human sized oh, creatures. It's made out of that same well, sour foam a, slime and that guy. That thing is rad. Yes. <laughs> you guys both use ciphers, right? The rest of us are probably at capacity. I, I think I'm at capacity. Yeah, I could I use am. another one. I just spent one, so I well, could use it. Let's see what the other one is, and then you can pick whichever okay. one. We can figure out which one would be um, best for us. This? I was holding out for something else actually you know do you have an extra spot i do have an extra spot i can, I can and hold. you can always toss them if you don't want them we got either a there. reality right. spike or metal death reality spike i feel like void effigy was talking about a reality spike just a second ago speedboat <laughs> Should I roll for the oh, level of like, this? Right? Oh, no, you just said that. that. I get it. I totally. Get it. It's like a paintbrush in like Elder Scrolls. You can just put it down and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's stuck it's there. stay there. All right. Um, you can keep salvaging if you no. want, but it gets harder by two steps each time. Thank you, Obelisk, for all that you've given us today. Man, this stuff's incredible. I see like a weird, like, flailing <laughs> gesture. Um, who is our most perceptive character? Is anybody trained in perception? Mama me! Whoa, not me. I'm dancing around. As as uh, Kelly is is raising the goggles back uh, onto her yeah. eyes, pause for a second and looking out over the horizon um, towards the east, kind of towards the direction that you guys are headed um, out over the. Like, you guys are going to be doing switchbacks mm-hmm. down the side mm-hmm. of the valley and then kind of heading out into the lower... Um, we're free-falling. We're free-falling, whatever. One of those two. <laughs> One of those. Uh, then uh, you see um, uh, a building that's on fire. What's that? <laughs> Do we see the smoke? Yeah, you can see you can see kind of a pillar of smoke rising. I want to scan from this distance. I don't think you can scan that far. Okay, it's yeah, not too far. I, I think it's usually immediate distance for the for the actual movie. Yeah, it's thirty, 30 feet, feet or yeah. something. Um, but I will but I will let you roll like that's a perception, the kind of an intellect to see if you can gain more All information. Right. I'll use it. one effort to lower that difficulty okay. by one two. Mm. Okay. All right. Do I know the Leviathan Wake lines around here? Yeah. Or can I tap into them? Yeah. Right, so I'm lowering it by one, whatever it is. And I got a nine. Okay, yeah, you succeed. Whew, um, <laughs> uh, so uh, you guys see Relay's eyes do like a... <laughs> like telescope. All right, all these lenses. Part, 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 part. And uh, and you can tell by the like the the data input that you're getting of like where the buildings are laid out and comparing it to all the human villages that you pass through. You're like, right. this is a farm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, this is a farm. The, the layout of it, and and yeah, the farmhouse, the building that the humans tend to live in when they live on farms, is burning. Mm-hmm. The uh, Horticultural or agricultural domicile is on fire. Its structural integrity will reach its uselessness <laughs> in approximately yeah. plot time. <laughs> in plot o'clock. Mm. Plot o'clock. <laughs> plot o'clock. <laughs> Precisely. Right. Plot it's hard o'clock. to also, start a fire in the rain. Yeah, and, and actually, as you're looking, you're seeing figures that are like. Yeah, serious. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're moving uh, bales of, of hay of like grass. Um, like from, adding fuel to it. Yeah, oh. yeah. Mm. Um, that that you get the impression that right. someone has started this and they're and they're fueling it. And they're trying to alarm, alarm. This appears to be this, this appears to be some kind of a sabotage situation. 
Oh my god, we have to help them. Do we? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Are you, what? Their house. All right. I thought our objective was to acquire the I agree. Numenera. Burn. No, we, we need to the help them. <laughs> also, I, I had asked that question. Do, do, do I know if this is near a convergence of uh, lines or anything or across a line? Do I need to make a check or do I just know? Um, Maybe there's more Numenera to be gathered there. I think you just know. Uh, oh. Yeah. And it, and it's it, not about Numenera. It's about their lines. It is, it is not, not to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. Is it's in near one. One crosses through the uh, mephetic forest, know, and this is kind of like in the them. outskirts of it. You guys are headed towards the mephetic forest to like map it and scout it out for the amber gleaners because they're debating on whether it's a good idea to pass through it to get to the amber key. Really but, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So it's not directly like it doesn't go right over the farm. The house is on fire cool. But people might be influenced. What's the option one again? The reality spike. The reality spike has you been, the has been chosen. Spike. It's not always good to stick your uh, What was it? What did, what did we get? Really you create <laughs> an immovable object <laughs> that cannot be moved. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. Ever. Once activated, the spike does not move <laughs> ever. You pick. Even Speed if boat, activated in midair, right. I don't. I don't. Either one, I could see being fun. They both have useful resources. Yeah. You get the the immovable object. I'll take the boat because I suffer with travel stuff. So this will help me out. Yeah, that would yeah, right. be good. All right, cool. Yeah. Keep it's, in mind, you can also like just get rid of ciphers if you find a new one and you're like, yeah. Man, metal death. It's not a good idea to keep more ciphers than your limit because they right. interact with their auras, interact with each other, and they could blow up. Can blow up. I yeah. can do three. There's a there's a scary random table that I can mm. roll on. Whoa. Scary no thanks. Keith says Never excitedly. allow Keith to roll on that table. <laughs> I can do three. You blow up and your companions eat you. All right, we're, what are you guys doing? We got some cool stuff. Oh yeah, we're. Uh, well, there's two people that are like beeline to the fire. Really we really and need to. We really need to help them. And there's three people that are like. Hmm. It's kind of on the way. <laughs> jamming yeah. indoors, For jamming in work. walls, <laughs> jamming in your frame. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Here it yes. Good times. Good times. Jamming in your sweet tea. <laughs> mm. And then stir the the, the tea using it. <laughs> Uh, good times. Right, y'all listen to to four facts. Is that if it? enough people yeah. run after mm -hmm. this fire, I'll run after them. Run after them. We're fire. still under a contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four four facts is mounting up on his saddle, and he's he's like, uh, uh, yeah. If there is danger present, then there could be monsters, and that is oh my boy. mission. Agreed. Monsters. There could be monsters. Come on. If we, if we assist these these humanoids, we potentially could gain more Numenera, so... Ah, uh, if it's on the way, fine. But uh, you have to carry... I'll ramble it. off the is, contract again. Is that There's area part of the area that we're gets on my back? supposed to be scouting? A bolt of lightning flashes oh, in the sky. Uh, everyone flinches for a second. However, Relay, you have this moment of intense feeling uh, as if like your your vision is suddenly cut off and flicks back on and you're in a totally different place okay. in a completely different body All right. um, and the body oh. is is standing right before this um, before this uh, farmhouse uh, and you can see like as if in a first person shooter and mm. an axe being held in the hand that lowers and this figure is kind of dazedly looking around for a second and you see um, figures, uh, one of which is, has raised a, uh, a cipher of some kind. Sorry, let me get my uh, uh, image close up here for the audience, and then I'll show you guys on the... Uh... <laughs> That's a dead guy right there, though. Yes. <laughs> and he's holding a cipher that he has, that he has pointed directly at whoever this figure is that you're inhabiting for a uh -huh. moment um, and uh, and it's 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 pulling it's it's this glove that he's wearing that's attached to these goggles uh, and he's like holding this figure's shoulder uh, and you're seeing like like information flowing through it mm. uh, okay. Okay. and then and then the the vision flicks off uh, and you're back okay. in your body and you have this intense feeling that the figure that you were inhabiting for a second is one of your brethren. No. Oh. Oh. All right. What uh, is your um, 
species called again? I'm an auto a time rad giant uh, robot it's a robot though. I'm a robot yes. yeah automaton I'm a middle man an, an automaton <laughs> automaton <laughs> auto sorry to interrupt I just I had forgotten that name alright alright Auto oh, okay, automaton so I'm trained in understanding Numenera and I'm also trained in all actions involving understanding Numenera hmm okay so when I saw that thing mm -hmm. what, what does my training get me I feel like there's a different skill for identifying creatures than Numenera. Not the thing, but the objects. I need the to objects. Roll. Yeah, go ahead and give me a roll on that. All right. All right. I'm going to use more effort. So I'm going to drop that down by one. Void Effigy knows exactly what we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. 19. Yo! Yes! Right. You know it's an artifact? Yes. Um, which an artifact is a cipher that can be reused multiple times. So, right. has a chance of breaking every time, but it's right. a powerful artifact, right? And you know um, that it is uh, <laughs> beast you memorized. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. All of the beast is memorized. I'm sure you could jump right to the page. The page number... Um, you know that this is a memory collector. Oh, uh, whoever is touched mm -hmm. with the glove, mm -hmm. um, memories are are forcibly ripped from them mm -hmm. uh, and stored in the well. The goggles process them, again. but then ultimately yeah. they produce a uh, like kind of a pod mm -hmm. uh, that can be ingested, and then the memory is mm -hmm. is weird and taken by the by the person. But but they're not elephants. Yeah. They're not elephants. <laughs> they're not elephants. <laughs> not elephants. Not. In no way, but they, shape they are them. taking your memory. I can mind the fact that they kind of look like uh, the guy really off of. Uh, they do want you dead. Uh, they're not show. mind players. Uh, I know this is a module, but still. <laughs> I know. Br blame Bruce Cordell on this mm -hmm. one. I didn't write. Um, I didn't write this one. We'll think about it. <laughs> All right. I'm like. So I explained to you guys that the entity possesses an artifact of great power, and it is a resource that we should acquire. Was it a humanoid? Uh, they are they are ad humans, uh, yeah. which are uh, like humanoid, uh, but they're like think like goblins and and gnolls and stuff mm -hmm. in D and D. Um, these are. Uh, this figure was hunchbacked. Mm. They can't really they can't really be mistaken for humans, um, though they are humanoid, and they have these long, spindly arms uh, with with oily, like glossy feather coat and a beak. Can I creature knowledge based off of the description? Mm -hmm. okay. I am trained. Definitely start. Trained. Perfect. Trained in everything. I got a nine. A nine. Um, yeah, these are uh, colloquially referred to as mud birds. Mud birds. Um, but they're called their proper name is Murdren. Murden. Um, and they are uh, crow kind of people, mm -hmm. and they're treacherous. They're lying. They're deceitful, Tingle. and they're and they're thieving. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. All right. Were there people there? No. In not. Well, well do memory, I know? Did my, you tell? I didn't tell you about the memory, but oh, like, you just said that. Um, right. You know, I, I just said that there was an object of of, of, of an inch. Gotcha. Right. Never mind. Yeah. There were more of these of these things scuttling around, right. and there's this kind of intense, like ringing uh, sound happening in your head. For Did a I get a sense that that was like real time, or that was like a memory? Memory. It was real time. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I tell you guys about the power, and then I start rambling off. You know, factors about. The, what you said mm -hmm. about the bird people. What did what they call again? Mud birds. Mud birds. You know, mm -hmm. you know, mud bird assailants. You know, uh, you know. I start rambling off. How many are Rossi? Like three or four. Uh, yeah. Three possibly three, three, four. three to five mud bird assailants. And and the one that was wearing the glove looked uh, somewhat more regal. Was wearing mm -hmm. like several like chains mm -hmm. and like rings and and was kind of showing off its. All right. Uh, authority was a little bit more straight backed, and apparently the other, the other ones were like obsequiously and, attack, mm -hmm. and they are extracting biological data from the source. Yeah, I start moving biological from, data. From, I start moving down the you know down the ravine. Did, did you get an impression of where that was happening? It's happening at the the farmhouse right now. All right. Oh damn. Yeah, and that's why I'm, I'm moving down. Yeah, I'm, I'm kicking my horse in the air. <laughs> All right. I don't or know whatever how exactly we have. we're traveling right now, other than are we on a neen, of course. Oh, yes, <laughs> right. 
I'm knee and I'm putting my knees into my knee. <laughs> is it a vehicle for driving or flying? It is a oh, animal. It's, a it's an animal. Yeah. It's like a long legged. Majestic beast of Oh, so we're all riding one together or separate? They look like this. Oh, jeez. It's a tauntaun. I think we agreed that there's like a two person <laughs> limit or something like that. Two to three. <clears throat> we said, yeah, because didn't Cash ride with. I leap up onto the back of four faxes as he's like speeding off. And I just grab on. I'm like two to three. Void effigy says two to three. Two to three. Two to three people. Thank you. Yeah. They're. Yeah, if you if you're not seeing the picture because I don't have it on the stream, but it's two two legged. Yeah, it's much like a tall. But not one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Two shorts. It has it has curly <laughs> four legs, <laughs> and short and stubbly. Right uh, but they have huge yeah. back legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Minimum of two, maximum yeah. of three. Yeah, yeah. you yes. can't ride it by yourself. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, one has to, you know, pad it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's multiple things you have to do to make sure it's comfortable. After I jump onto the back of yours. Fairfax, I I'm like holding on and I pull the, the the mall off my back and I'm just like getting ready to fucking pull up swimming. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. sweet. And Shane, you guys are one. I guess sweet. I get in the back with you guys. Yeah. So I, I get up there. I'm definitely helping you right. as much as possible. And you realize as you're holding, you're picking me up. That's like really, you grab where my sleeve is and there's about this much arm in that sleeve. Oh my gosh. Right. You're like I'm like pieces parts, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's not much of me there. I'm yeah. pretty frail, you know. They eat grass right. leaves and occasionally small Got lizards or mic. rodents. What what sound do you guys think <laughs> Benin make? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys ride off. <laughs> Sprinting at a sprint that towards was not the, the farm. Noise I was gonna make. <laughs> you arrive on the scene. You were gonna make the sound of a diesel truck. We know the noise that you were gonna make, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> the farmhouse. <laughs> the farmhouse is a flame. You want to decorate that for me, Josh? Oh, those, oh, wait, those? it is a flame. It is. A, it is no longer a house. It is a single, it is a single, single flame. flame. Are those creatures still there? there? Yes, they're scurrying about, and uh, the the scene is that they. Uh, Clearly, are looting this farm. Gosh. They've they've loaded everything from this house into this wagon, and it's the mine takers. And now they are uh, they're like getting ready to take off with this wagon. And uh, you guys are not taking any kind of stealthy precautions, right? No, full on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say it's, a, it's four facts, right? Yeah. Four. I say to four facts on the way. I so say if you, you, I'm like, climb up and get next to you, and I'm like, if you, if you. R ride by one, I'll, s I'll swing my hammer right through its head. Get close to a break on Got it. Yes. Yeah, that is yeah that's actually a good call. We'll, uh... Yeah, this is a good time. Set do, up. do you want to describe, like, maybe we're pulling up yeah, and we and up. we see a scene? Yeah. To... Yeah, so you're you're seeing uh, some of these Murdens loading uh, crates into this wagon. There's there's seven of them in total. Um, three of them are are loading up. Uh, several of them are running out from the house that they lit on fire, perhaps a little bit earlier than they expected. They're still <laughs> they're still getting things out of it. And the one because you know ab humans, yeah, 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 because yeah. uh -huh. right. they're a little savage. Right. And and the one uh, who is sit seated in the driver's seat is the is the one with this glove. The good posture. The good posture, and uh, leads it, with the heart. It points Pro proper mud bird. Points with this right. glove, <laughs> a quivering hand, and there's no there's no like beak movement. There's no speaking happening right. that you guys see, um, but it raises. It's the first one that sees you guys. It raises its hand, and then Scanners. all of them kind of. Like as they're moving, like scuttle to a halt and all turn at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, and and look in your direction. Right. Uh, there is a uh, um, a body of a of a farmer uh, who who looks quite dead, and there is a uh, collapsed form of an automaton. Mm -hmm. So mm. that is that is like right in the place that you would have that perspective right. through the eyes that you had seen. Uh, it's no good. No good. Yep. And with that, we <laughs> will go on a quick break. Stay tuned Time for up. more. Freeze frame. Pull the phone on can out of my arm and start doing us lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. right. Boom. Boom. Right. Boom. I don't know. I might I might do the same thing that those 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 
what we're about to do on uh all right you guys ready oh, for no. the pose oh, no, yeah no. Murdens.
And we're back. Murdens. You guys have approached it. Oh, I should have set up my Murdens, y'all. Murdens oh, no. everywhere. Where are the Murdens at? Where the Murdens? Are interested, this is my hammer. Where are the Murdens at? Oh, yes. He's got it. He's holding on to the side of the animal. We're getting just murdering around. I'm so excited. The, uh, Murderness. You should name it. This one it's is the out. is the leader. <laughs> leader of the murder. Uh, its posture doesn't look That has great. the. Uh, I know. My illusion is destroyed. <laughs> I hate my. <laughs> They're like loading. Remember those things at the beginning of the fifth mm -hmm. element that like block. Well, mm -hmm. just cover and the key comes out of its finger. And this one is. That's how I imagine that they're blocked. Facing towards you guys. All right, and uh, initiative. Everybody, roll. Uh, you can expend effort on this. It's like an, it's like anything else. It's a speed task. If anybody's trained in it, let me know. But your goal is to beat them. And if you do, then you go first. You go before them, and if you don't, then you go after them. Okay. <clears throat> I think I do want to use effort here. Um, because I think it's important that we get we get the initiative on them. Mm. Uh, um, it's a work in progress. <laughs> and because I have armor, it's going to cost me one additional because I have training in armor. Yes. Um, so it's going to cost me... Uh, why do I have two edge marked there? No, that's, oh, that's 11. Never mind. Um... It's gonna cost me four. Oh gosh, darn it! Well, I rolled a two, so. All right. Yeah. And you expended effort. So ultimately, I only got a three. So. Yeah. Uh, you did not. You're going <clears> after. <throat> uh, can I get a pencil? Actually, I actually have a pencil. Sucks. So the armor, Josh, you, it. It's in one extra like. Anytime you. Cool, anytime so. you use speed effort, it will add one to it. And I think you've got medium armor, right? Yeah, but I'm And you've got the one armor, that uses so it. Yeah. So good. it'll be one point more anytime you use effort from your speed pool. Okay. So it would be a two, but now it'd be a three. Mm -hmm. so it'd be basically normal. Mm -hmm. If I use an effort. I mean, yes. I mean, you use an edge. <clears throat> yep. Plus one per yeah. level of effort. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'm also going to do, I'm going to do an effort. Thank you, Boyd Chief. And I rolled a 12. 12 is going to go before them. I rolled an 18. Excellent. I got a 13. All right. I got a 16. Nice. So oh, everybody shit. but four facts is going before them. Perfect. Um... And I'll say that the initiative. The one who expended effort. <laughs> yeah, didn't want to make, make you, a comment about it. Uh, I really want if to you want to get into melee combat, it's going to be your like turn to to do that. Um, we'll say that they're that they're fifty feet away. Mm -hmm. Or we'll say, yeah, we'll say they're fifty feet away with by the time you guys arrive. Yeah. Everybody else just regular roll. Um, how did mine? How does my roll go up if I used effort? If I rolled a twelve and I used effort, what does it go up to? It doesn't. It doesn't go, go up. up. It lowers yeah. as long the as it lowers the difficulty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Which in this case doesn't change, because you're like you beat them still. Yeah. Um, but you don't know that before you roll. Yeah. Okay. It would be equivalent to adding a plus three mm -hmm. per level of effort. Yeah. A plus three to your initiative. Yeah, well, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. Do you have a miniature yet? I don't. Oh, no. We can use... Uh... Here's one How about the one that we've been using for, for Dolph? Because he's kind of got, like, tools and, like, a bag and stuff. Yeah, beautiful. Like I was actually thinking about... This dude? Um... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> awesome. I'm just... So, and it looks like a... It's got the... I don't know. I guess you're kind of a noble, so maybe that doesn't fit, but... Well, but it could be the. It looks like the the jetpack a little bit. It'll work for now, anyway. <laughs> you can pick something else out if you want yeah. to later. Um. Uh. Yeah. So we're rolling up on this, right? Mm-hmm. Um. And 
Yeah, the Anines are screaming. Yeah. And I am. I thought it was deeper. It wasn't. A, it was more of like an inhaling. Ours, ours is high pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> ours has a small throat. Mm-hmm. Small larynx. That was me inhaling, Keith. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's the best she could do. <laughs> Tell right. me what I see. All right. Uh, so let me switch to the dude. Uh, so this is the leader who was wearing the weird goggles and mm-hmm. the glove, mm-hmm. uh, and, those goggles. and has gestured towards you guys. They all turn and look. Um, this one is is moving uh, kind of towards you guys in, with an investigative stance uh, and is drawing like a crossbow or something, a bow, like yeah, a, a buzzer, right? The like the mm-hmm. thumbnail shooter. Um, and these ones are all coming out of the farm uh, with with crates and barrels and whatnot that they're looting, right? And they're working to throw it into this wagon. Do I see any people or things that are in danger? Uh, there is this, uh, you're pretty certain he's dead, farmer. Uh, and there's also a... There's that tom 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 collapsed dead. on the ground. Oh, that's right, the farmer's humanoid. Mm-hmm. The automaton. Um, and, uh, and things are on fire. And things are on fire. Okay. Um, you're also noticing that the uh, that the farm as you're as you guys were riding up, you're noticing that like uh, the uh, um, the the farm itself has been left in kind of a disarray, and all the fruits and whatnot have just been like are um, rotting and kind of falling off the like not that they're diseased, but they're like they've gone to be overripe and were mm-hmm. not picked, and then they just fell mm-hmm. and now they're like rotting on the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just been a minute. I've been on a sender for a while. Right. Mm-hmm. Cabin fruit. For what it's worth. <laughs> Cabin fruit? Cabin fruit. Cabin. Um, so this reality spike is, what What are you imagining it actually looks like? I'm, I was thinking rather large, a large <clears throat> thing. But it, is this like handheld or is it like big? Does it grow? Like yeah, I think it's maybe three, four feet long. It looks like an Elder Scroll, man. Okay, so probably maybe like this big. Mm-hmm. I want to, as we are, we're rolling up. How far away are we? Fifty feet. Oh, okay. So I want to get close on the Anine, I guess. The Anines are rolling up, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, I want to get within like throwing distance and toss the the spike um, in this area to where like. So I think you have to hit the button to activate it, and then it doesn't move from wherever that's at. Oh, so somehow really? you have to activate it, and I, that's what I gather, or at least. Yeah, but, but you could run up to there and jam it in the ground and hit the button. Okay. Uh, Rather than throwing it. Yeah, so with... Your goal is to stop the wagon? Uh, if they, if the wagon... It says, once activated, the spike does not move. No. Nope. Ever. <laughs> Even right. if it can activated be in midair. In space. Like, right. They're like, you can do a mic check yeah. to pry it out of space, but it just breaks and yeah. stops working. But I was thinking if they... If these horses, if they take off, this it's going to probably destroy this wagon along mm-hmm. along its yeah. path. So yeah, that's an awesome move, right? Um, yeah. So I, I run off and I see this terrible scene, and there are just tears in my eyes, and I'm just like screaming and running, and I just like dive in front of this these horses, and I'm like, "You're not going anywhere!" And I like just jam it right in front of my face, and I'm like. Let go of this thing, and now there's just this crazy like. All right, I think just I think you're gonna need to make a speed uh, check to get there and still act. Yeah. Oh, a speed check. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. Numenera doesn't let you move and do something. Well, you, you can move uh, ten feet and do something. Well, so can I get you can move- here in ten feet? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. And so, do I? Should I still make a speed check or no? No. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, some place where uh, this makes more sense that I'm not that close to them. Uh, so I'll do it there in the s- level of the cipher is 
a nine. Nice. So I don't know what that does, but I don't know if this spike is ever going anywhere. It'll be really hard to. Nice. And Josh. you're putting it right there. Okay. Yeah. So they won't be able to go around it, or or they'll have to yeah, plow through this mm -hmm. like okay, just sure. fence or whatnot in order to yeah get around. Yeah, it, it was a way to like shut them down from going anywhere. Okay. That's it. Cool. Um, all right. So. Uh, uh, spike. Excellent. Um, so that was uh, Kilu. So oh, Kaylee, right. Relay, and Shant can go in whatever order they <laughs> wish. I know, I was looking different. I was like, so the three of you guys can all go at whatever order. <laughs> How far can we run in a round? You can go 10 feet and still act. Okay. This is on your cheat sheet thing, too, page. second page. Which so um, would you say that 50 feet is short to long range, then? Yeah, short is, is 50 feet is an action. If you want to go up to 100 feet, you have to make a speed right. check. But both of those will take up your whole turn. Okay. 50, 50 to 100 feet will take your turn. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, whose turn is it? it, it I, any of us. Any of us? Mm -hmm. I jump off the back of his uh, animal and just start running at the nearest um, thing. Yeah. Okay. Enemy. You're this guy. I am the green one. And so I I mean if we're <clears throat> if it's fifty feet from where I am, then I use um, my full, you know, action to get there. Yeah. Uh, do I need and I need to make a speed check? Nope. Oh, okay. Um but you do need to make okay. a intellect defense um, as you're you're running towards this thing with your uh, your hammer right your maul yeah um, raised in the air and you get uh, to within the immediate range of it and suddenly you're like you're you, as if you step into this wave of like crazy static like imagine like a radio the, the like between radio stations which is like <laughs> and you're hearing like voices in there they're like <laughs> And you get a sense that you're hearing these things speaking to one another, um, but they're speaking in some kind of weird, crazy, psionic, like, radio wave thing. And uh, you can't understand any of it, and it's just, like, overloading your brain all of a sudden. You're like, whoa, and feel, right. like, nauseated by it. So give me an intellect defense. All right. And so in this kind of uh, interaction, I don't know what I need to meet until I roll. <laughs> um, you are going for a nine on the dice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna expend an effort to take it down a notch, and that would take it down to a six. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's three speed. Okay. I mean, sorry, three intellect. intellect. Yeah. Oh, oh, five. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> With these rolls. Wow. All right, that's that. All right, um, you uh, your actions are hindered, uh. which means they'll be a step more difficult. Okay, uh, because the sound is just like deafening and maddening at the yeah. same time. Um. <laughs> All right, sorry. No, you're fine. Relay and Kaylee. Okay, we were in the same Indian, so you were. I'm like, I remember maintain control of this beast I would actually like to I want to try to find something that we can start putting this fire out with mm. um, I, I do I feel like I can either perceive for that or literally look for water <laughs> using finding food or water nice <laughs> um, I'm trained in either of those, so I'm just gonna go for that. Okay, I think both. Then you'll be specialized in this instance because you're thirteen. Nice. Um, yeah, there is a uh, there is a well. Oh Lord, where is it? Um, it's right here. Okay. Is it still raining? Or is it, it is. is. Mm -hmm. And its fire is blazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've yeah, been feeling I mean, they've it. Been, yeah. What human bodies? I mean, that's my action. That's your action, isn't it? You can fill up a bucket if you want. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> fill up a bucket. It's a big old bucket, though. <laughs> let's do it. 
We need a mini for your character, too. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Ah. Um, you're not close enough yet. Yeah. All right, relay. Okay, so I'm standing on the back of that thing. What's it called again? An anine. So I'm like this. I got my hands in my robes like this. I'm standing. I'm, I'm seeing all of this chaos going. I'm just kind of surveying, and I just hold up one hand, and there's like, kind of like a Iron Man repulsor ray like thing mm-hmm. there, and I want to emit a blast that looks like negative energy, like an orb of ne- negative energy. Cool. That's yes. just the effect. But I'm just boom, and it goes out. I don't know what the difficulty would be to do what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make an onslaught attack, and I want to hit everybody with it. Mm, you can only hit one person with it. Right, that's what I thought. That's what yeah. I thought, because of the tier one stuff. So I'm going to hit the, the guy who seems to be in charge with it. Um, how, how long is your distance on onslaught? As long as I'm within short range, I can do it. Okay, short, right. short range is 50 feet. Right. Um, and if you were to move 10 feet up... All right. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with that. All right, but I got to get off of the thing and move ten feet up. You don't have to get off. Of it. All right, you can just move 10 that's feet just up. for dramatic effect. I'm just on top of the thing, looking like a, like Palpatine, and then yes. Yes. Wow, yes. All right. So, so the difficulty is going to be uh, a four. A four. This this particular one is like a level higher. Um, so you're looking for a twelve okay. on the dice. Well, I'm going to use some effort on that. All right. So it'll cost you three or two if you have edge. Cost is, it cost me two because I have edge. Nice. All right, I've been tracking that. So now it's a nine again, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're looking for a nine on the dice. I only can use one fucking... Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Right. Yeah. That's a yes. ten. That's a ten. Excellent. It's a ten. Um, all right. And they don't do it. They don't seem to be wearing armor. Right. It doesn't do an armor thing. It goes directly to their intellect pool. Oh, you're doing you're doing the brain slice. Yeah. So it's um, two points to die. Ah, All right. Intellect damage. All right. Um. Like, so. Intellect armor straight mm. to the brain. I don't want to be a cruel GM, so I'm going to give you an what? XP as a as a GM intrusion. Okay. Um, it's not going to help. They are <laughs> they are uh, mechanically immune to uh, intellect attacks, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm gonna give you an I'll give do the GM intrusion so you get an XP. Right. You, you can give one to someone else. Nice. Right. Um, and make an intellect defense. So you like do this blast right. and uh, and it strikes his his uh, his head mm-hmm. and then this like crazy static. Um, uh, travels back down at like a right, wire and back. hits you and you're hearing this alright can I use effort on that on yes that roll? Mm-hmm. I'm going to do that because I was not prepared for that alright and I don't know welcome what the, to Numenera the roll is <laughs> never prepared for anything that to this game <laughs> uh, and you're getting the point because it's your turn <laughs> alright you get the XP all right. Um, all right. So yeah. you failed on the intellect defense. So right. your moves, your actions, until you are disconnected from this thing, are hindered. So everything in the future uh, will be will be one step harder. Okay. As the sound is just like deafening in your head. All right. Um, but thank you. But now we know that mental attacks are not the way. Mm-hmm. Smash these things. Yep. I said destroy them, destroy them, <laughs> destroy, yeah, destroy. Yeah, it's, it's destroy. as if, as if like you were shooting a sound really blast sucks. at them, mm-hmm. and the white noise like wall just totally broke. Which up. is pretty much what I was trying to do because when I, when I heard about, I heard the feedback going on up there. I was like, I can disrupt it, you know, and mm-hmm. it's not what happened. You know? All right, yeah. and make well, sure to mark your XP. We had taken yeah, for I, the I took it and gave it to Josh. Okay, you get one, and he gets one. Oh, I get one as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. All right. Uh, has everybody on the right now? If you want, Josh, you should do it. Kilu, Kayla, they're gonna go. You guys both went, yes. right? Okay, yeah. so now the creatures are going. Well, oh yeah, you I you just moved. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. blasted. Yeah. So I could have used one of those to actually add to my roll or re-roll XP in the future. Now that you have future. it, yeah, you, you can have, re-roll. Now that I have it. it now, but not in that moment when you were rewarding. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I was trying to understand. Um. Okay. 
Uh, Randy, give me a speed defense as as this Murden close to you. He he drops the. Uh, it was a sling. I'm sorry. I said crossbow, but he, they had they had like slings. They were yeah. like flinging rocks Classic. and whatever. Fine. He dri- defense. He, yeah. he uh, drops that and like very sneak sneaky like uh, draws this sneak. curved dagger and is slashing at you. All right. I'm not gonna put any effort on Classic it. Classic mudbird. Gonna... Yep, mudbirds. And you're hindered as well. Oh. Uh, so but you still succeed. Yes. Uh, so you step out of the way. Uh, a. Uh, Green lightning. This one drops the the crate that he was carrying and pulls out a sling and uh, and launches one at uh, Daniel, uh, your character Kilu. Give me a speed defense. Four. You're hit in the head with a with a rock. Oh, <laughs> come on, <laughs> for three damage. Oh, Is that move faster that it takes away? Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Jeez, man, I can't hold on my stuff. You're being really mean. That's what I'm saying. Uh, these these two are are hurling their goods Wait, into the what? wagon. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one is is taking hold of the reins. Um. And this one has in run the rain. in the rain. And this one has run up to engage uh, in the rain. <laughs> uh, Shent. And that is all my stuff. Four facts is up. Um. <clears throat> all right. Seeing this uh, this guy being the leader and and like kind of witnessing a couple of my friends trying to like interact with him and like getting blasted in some way well gosh okay I don't know if I don't know if this is considered a mental attack and I'll just ask before I do it I was considering goading him to try to get uh, force him to like attack me and like move toward me and attempt to attack me and basically be mm-hmm. like get down from there and like fight us yourself right mm-hmm. um or is he immune to that because he's got his like intellect immunity kind of thing? He's immune to mental effects or intellect damage. Um, however, I'll say that you get the sense from interact from the interaction that you've seen so far uh, that they that it's going to be uh, hindered because they don't really speak the language of truth very well. They communicate okay. with each other with these kind of crazy radio mm-hmm. psionic waves Mm -hmm. i'd still try it okay if you'll allow it yep it'll it'll be hindered all right and he is more difficult than the other ones Uh, yeah he's a he's a four so um so i don't know i'm trained in persuasion i don't know if this is considered persuasion if i'm if i'm goading him necessarily okay So, and I'll I'll use effort. Okay, I do have an edge, so it'll cost me two. Okay. Um, So I'm I'm reducing it by two, but it's hindered, so it's ultimately a one reduction. Mm -hmm. Nine is what I'm looking for. Come on, come on. Nineteen. Nineteen. Excellent. Excellent. All right, and so he has to move to engage you, right? Let me pull up the goad move real quick. Do you have destiny? Can I see the other one? I got the player's guy. We need to put that out. Because I believe I have armor. I guess, you know, I have leather, so I should have reduced okay. it, but I want to check that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> By one. Yeah. Right. I uh, forgot about I'm that. I'm a robot. I have <laughs> Don't forget those <laughs> armor if you... Right. Void FG's got optional rule modifying an ability to do something similar to its current effect and is a difficulty five intellect task. Hmm. Making an ability to do something it is not meant to do is a difficulty ten intellect task. Turning a physical onslaught into a scatter shot would be considered difficulty five. Turning hedge magic into an offensive skill would be difficulty ten. That's cool. Okay, so I could. Yeah, we that. we could do that in okay. the future. Yeah, a difficulty five, and then Thanks, it would be Void air, air effect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Void effigy's got it. All right. Our our yes. encyclopedic it's knowledge. It's one point of on- armor. Great to have awesome. around. All right. Yeah, Much you appreciate it. You can attempt to go to target into a belligerent and probably foolish reaction that requires the target to try to close the distance between you and attempt to physically strike you on its turn. Mm. They attempt this action even if it would cause them to break formation or give up cover or, or a tactically superior position. Whether the target strikes you or fails to do so, uh, they come to their senses immediately afterward, after which I... Uh, attempting it again is hindered. Um, 
Also, I think it cost me a point to do that. Yeah, so I need to spend mark that point as well. You want that back? Cool. Thank you. Um, all right. Yeah, and, and, and I think I was probably moving up and like yeah, drawing out my shield. So here's what happens. He, uh, you, you, what do you say? I say, I say, step down from there and face us. Don't hide behind your lackeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he, uh, this. Murden with the with the gloves and the goggles is like quivering with rage. Something about the way you said it, some kind of jet gesticulation or whatnot, has really like you really irritated. Yeah, you way. you did something like a little bit bird like or right. something perhaps, and it really yes. really irked him. Left your cape of <laughs> and uh, my bird filth. He he uh, like raises the the glove that's like connected by wires to these goggles and then points at you. And the uh, the one right next to him like whips the reins, and the horses, the Anine, surge forward, and they're charging towards you. And he's like, he's basically ready to like slap you with this with this glove as he's pat as he's moving towards you, right? All right. Um, so on his on their turn, they'll they'll do that. They do not appear to have seen this spike. <laughs> I was gonna say it, but that makes sense. Because it's there. It's a. I don't know. What is a nine a cipher? Is that like? Because I'm, I'm sure they'll have to make a might. Yeah. Roll in order lights. to in order to break it, they need to make a difficulty of the nine of a nine. Oh so my god! Be, yeah, That's so much. It'll be a twenty-seven. Right. Oh it's gonna, the, the, the whole thing. The wagon is gonna over break apart. Yeah. It's gonna flip over. It's like a barrier. Or something? No, it's just a spike a rod. that doesn't okay. ever like move, rod. even if it's in yeah, the middle of the air. Yeah. It just kind of sits yeah. there. And they didn't see it. It's gonna be messed up. Mm. All right. So everybody but Fourfax is going in whatever order, you guys. You guys wish on round two. Um, w I have a question. Well, that wasn't yeah, entirely well. what I had in mind. But <laughs> the uh, I was trying to get the, him to like jump down, but the, is there some sort of machine or thing that's making this noise? That's just mm. like making this crazy noise that's Can hindering us. Them? No, it's it's them talking. Gotcha. They, they speak on this kind of crazy. And they're organic, radio right? Wave. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not ready to go. Down. So if someone else <laughs> knows what they're gonna do. I feel like you don't want the question. They were organic, right? <laughs> right? I meant they weren't yeah, like machines. Yeah, they're no, animals. I know what you meant. It was just scary. It was intimidating. I mean, I guess I'm uh, gonna throw a thing of water onto a thing of fire. <laughs> does that does that require any more? Oh, on your turn. Um, are you trying to put out the house? Uh, I think I'm probably just trying to put out the closest thing that I can get to. I'm like stopping anything. I think if you use your whole turn, you can you can do a decent, okay, a couple rounds back and forth. Okay. I guess I'll. Or fill up like there's several buckets nearby, oh. so you can fill up. Yeah, I'll we'll say you filled up a couple already, yeah, and you can totally. fill up a couple more, and then just be like, Argh. totally. Hmm. Is that cursed as your binds? No, that's a brazen. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm remembering stuff from previous things. Um, are, mind. are you putting out this, like, uh, the house or the fence or? Fence line. Okay. <laughs> Give me a roll. We'll see how okay. effective it is. Gravity. And if you're trained in, like, acrobatics or, um, or, or, or firefighting. Or firefighting, yeah. Uh, I feel like that's something Cash is trained in from day to day. <laughs> yeah, when he is, like, skill, I, I don't think and I have philosophy, really and firefighting. Applicable <laughs> firefighting. I rolled a four. Oh. You put. Okay. One yeah, you a fire. Out. You put the you put the fence out. Oh, oh, nice. And and which was good because the the automaton was leaning over the one part of the fence and was just getting kind of scorched. Uh, nice. Awesome. All right. I know what I'm gonna do now. I'm weeping, and I I see. And you Kelly. also you also see the figure of the of the farmer. Has kind of a stupefied uh, look oh. on his face and has had his throat slit. My blank! I see uh, Kelly has tried to put out this fire, and I'm gonna run to aid her. So I'm gonna run 10 feet, however long you think that is, here or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use 
right tool for the job, which mm. is one of my special right aspects. Yes. And so like I've heard, how, 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 how is right IGHT? tool? Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right tool for the job. <laughs> the correct tool for the job. Right. Right, right. Righty, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so basically, that right. I can expend an iodum that I have to create an asset on a task, and so I'm gonna play it out like I'm like, I'm like, pulling this iodum that is just like as it's coming out, I'm like, like it's I'm pulling it and it's pulling it in like strands. It's like falling to pieces. It's like some like responsive synth or something, but I'm peeling it open and making it into this weird hose thing. Yes. Um, so, and then I, like, toss the end in the, in the, uh, in the you well. Get the, you get the suction going? Yes, yes, <laughs> starting the, the um, but the yeah, so, I, so I was wondering <laughs> if on that could, since I'm using a material thing, could someone else benefit from it? Like, mm -hmm. not just me use yeah. the task? Okay, yeah, they'll cool. have an asset on whatever task they're doing. So I'm yelling for Kelly to do this without that stupid bucket. It's five stupid buckets! <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard to carry! <laughs> yeah, Perfect. that's it. Responsive synth hose. Yes. Suction's been established and some water is coming out of it. Um... I was ready for the relay the and Shen can go in whatever the fate order aspect. Uh, uh, so yeah, Shen. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, wait, where's the cover? has dodged <laughs> that attack from the uh, enemy and is now going to like parry with not parry, but you know, counter attack with his his I'm hammer. Trying to redo it. And uh, yeah, that was he just said that before. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, I'm just trying to read it. Um, <laughs> I have a thing called impressive display, and I can't remember what the benefit is, but if I do it now... I got you. Yeah, look it up if you could. It's uh, the second... Here you go, Yeah, the second... Next time when I attack, if it's the same person, then I think it takes it down a notch. It hinders um, their actions? I think it, like, makes it easier, I guess. Mm. But it makes it easier for me okay. to attack. I don't know what... You perform a feat of strength, speed, or combat, impressing those nearby. For the next minute, you gain an asset in yeah. all interaction tasks with people who saw you use this ability. Interaction with, tasks are going to be like persuade and, and okay. threaten and stuff. And yeah. So you use you you reduce your might pool by two when you do this. Yeah. And then on your next turn, everything you do will be interaction tasks. Interaction so like yeah, tasks. like talking to people. Yeah. yeah. So it's not necessary. I was thinking it was an attack bonus the next time. Um, okay, so then the mic. I'm going to attack him. And um, it's the same question as always. I can't remember this. Do I know? There are three. The difficulty. The difficulty is a three, which yeah, is a nine. Yeah, nine. You're looking for the nine on the dice. Okay. Yeah. So then I want. He won't always tell us, though. Mm -hmm. No, that's all right. That's why I ask, because sometimes you're not supposed to tell us. Okay. But So I'm going to use uh, a mic. It's been established. I'm going to use a, uh, one of my. I'm going to use an effort. I have an edge, so I'm gonna take it down to a six. So I'm gonna roll, roll. Oh yeah! Nice. So I hit him. I have them all. Okay. So and I have. Um, I can't remember what it is that it gives me the uh, the plus one to so da plus one damage in melee attacks, and it's a heavy weapon, so it's a seven. Nice. Um, so let's stay. I'm going to swing this down like right into his like neck and shoulder. Like, yeah, he's got this. He's got this hunchback. You slam him on the shoulder, and he he falls forward on the ground, um, and lands on his on his little four four talon four claws, and uh, and like is like. Like is hissing and gurgling. It's not him speaking or making reactive sounds. He's yeah. just like. Ah. Was I also then, extra hindered from? I forgot. Was I extra? Oh yeah, but you still succeeded. Okay, good. Um, and uh, he's not dead. The creature's not dead, but just like starts totally uh, coward-like, scuttling like underneath this fence no. and, and into this bush, and is kind of just like rustling through this bush, like desperately yeah, trying to escape. Like a cockroach that didn't squish all the way. <laughs> yeah, like, he's just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get away. Yeah, he's just like ripping through this bush. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. That's right. I give out a howl. <laughs> now, so on that, 
in the thing, he could expend two more out of his might to use that impressive display. Is that how that? If so I wanted I to previously, I could have done the impressive display, done the impressive display. Now, perhaps if I was interacting with somebody, they'd be like impressed. Right. I'd be doing better now. If well, it says it's, it's an action, like at the end of the description, if it says action, then he has to do it as a turn, and then the effect would be like next. Gotcha. Because I was that. thinking, like, you could then use it in like the next turn to even intimidate people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like. Uh, yeah, I was thinking more like a, a bar thing, right? So you'd punch one guy, and the rest of the bar is like, now you've kind of like commanded the <laughs> yeah. space for, uh, or or even just walk into a place and yes. be like, like listen up, everybody, and then yeah. it's like I do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. it works. And I think you're up, Shag. Yeah, it is so an action, Randy. Okay. Pull back his hood. Oh, so it's an action. Right. Oh, his face right. opens up. There's another photo can photon cannon in his face. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is yes. thing. Awesome. I'm going to do more than these optional rule. Cool. Right. I'm going to do a scatter cool. shot with my, my physical line slot, and I'm going to increase my difficulty by five or two five. Two six. five, yeah. So you're right. looking for a 15 on the dice, right. but you can Ooh. expend effort to I'm reduce going to the shoulder. Expend have like effort. a shock yes. absorber in it, so it's like. <laughs> and. Edge works like re reduced matching task total pool cost by edge. Yes, so it costs three points to do effort. All right, so right? it cost me two. So it'll only cost you two. Yeah, yeah I've been doing that right. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. So that. Um, so then you're looking at a twelve. I'm on the looking dice. at a twelve. Come on, gravity well. Gravity well. Because I'm gonna scatter shot gravity all of the guys. Yeah, cool. Bounce it off the gravity well. Right. It might be better. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Uh, it's a nine. It's a nine. You can use XP to re-roll if you want, but... I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. I said, okay. All right. It's a four. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm a robot, so... <laughs> I just missed. There's a blast. Right. They're like, <laughs> they're like shooting all over the place, but right. they're just... Happen to be just hitting just more. A lot of several of them. Several of them have like dropped their crates and whatnot, and so the scatter shot like hit this hit this barrel and and has blasted uh, <laughs> whatever the contents of it. Some of this kava fruit. It, it was it was like a fermented kava fruit. Oh, delicious! So I just blasted this like <laughs> foamy right. deliciousness into the air. Man, I made some frappe, man. Damn. Sorry. Um, a couple of frappe. Yeah, five is is a high, That's a high one. challenge at this I, point. I wanted to try and see how it worked out. I want to try it again, actually. <laughs> you know? um, mm. All right. So that was that everybody. Yeah, it's their, their turn. turn. Their turn. Or well, their turn, and then. Um, all right, uh, Randy, give me a speed defense shint as right. as this one uh, with the knife is slashing at you. Another you know, one's coming at me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I got a fifteen. No. Excellent. Woo. Um, all right, so you dodge out of the way of that. Um, they've Looks been like goaded, eh? Yeah. The wagon is charging forward. <laughs> and uh, these horses pass by your... Uh, Here's the best way to do it is to yes, like, pull the horses off and yes. <laughs> make this separate. Yes, you know, this is so good. Yeah, Where do you want it to be? I have no bad. idea. <laughs> Uh, I think right there is good. The front ones have escaped from it, basically. Okay. The back ones are so uh, good. Yeah. Only when I can. use my, my pole arm. That's why I pulled it out when I was running. It's not like it's like, oh, yes. Pole arm, pole balls. There's a reason for this. Or I guess <laughs> move it a little bit further forward so that it's... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's attacking you, basically. Um, so the, the wagon charges forward, and the two horses in the very front pass by on either side of the reality spike. Uh, however, the yoke crashes into it, and it is like a needle that is just cutting through the wood along the yoke, and the yoke is just splintering, and there's splinters flying in the air, and the, the Anin are getting like hit with some splinters, and so they're like rearing up in the... Awesome and they, they, the two back ones have like bolted out from under the broken yoke and have like leapt over the uh, over the various bushes and Man. whatnot. And the two front ones have just continued like running in the way that horses are just like, yeah, we're going, we're running. This cheer to Bobber smiles upon the scene. <laughs> passion. Freedom, the passion. passion, run Power. free beasts. Uh, and so the, no the wagon is like moving on its surface. momentum, but nothing is pulling it anymore. Uh, and as it's moving forward, the uh, the leader 
uh, who's infuriated by a Forfax, reaches and slashes at him with this, uh, or, or reaches down uh, this mind with, this, with this mind glove. And give me a uh, speed defense mm -hmm. uh, to not, avoid his they're, grasp. They're not, they're not, I have an asset not because I'm lifting up my shield. Not at all. Come on. Not bad. Totally not, not a lid. Not even a G. Oh, also, no. uh, well, not even close. Totally different we'll use this for the together. for the intellect defense as they get close to you, because then the you haven't done that yet, right? Okay, no, I haven't done it. Okay, so this is for that as they get close to you, the radio, <laughs> the feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, I would want to use effort for that. Okay, that's cool. I I didn't like get all the way across. Um, so am I rolling again, or am I taking that roll? Uh, just go ahead and roll again. Sorry. Cool. I'll take that. All right, so you succeed level up. at that, so your actions are not hindered. And, yeah. And so as he's charging forward, you're, this wave of weird white noise is happening in your skull. Uh, now yes. give, give me a, a roll against his glove. Okay. Nice. 16. You, you raise your shield up in the air and claws at the shield, mm. and he has these weird raven claws that mm -hmm. scratch across the... Uh, front of the shield, and he just you're seeing his beak mm. quivering, and you're hearing the weird voice <laughs> cursing you. Great. Um, and the uh, the other one is driving the mm. caravan, so that's his action. Um, Two of these managed to jump onto the back mm -hmm. of the wagon because they saw it moving and thought this mm -hmm. was going to be their escape. <laughs> um, the the <laughs> last one has, has pulled out his uh, sling and fires a fires a rock in your direction. So give me another speed defense. Okay. Can I still use the shield, or is there any yep. sort of limit to? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got a nine. Yep, that and, succeeds. And asset. Oh, nice. Okay. So a clang as you raise the shield on a rock. Bounces off the. Yep. Awesome. Uh, and then in in the same motion of of drawing my shield and deflecting like that, I draw out a short sword and go to like jab it up into this awesome. into this guy's ribs. Cool. Right. At the, everybody else went. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. The hoplite method of saving shield fighting. Mm -hmm. yes. Woo. Nice. All right. Yeah. I, I like the idea that the second guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead. I just wanted to have like an emblem, like a, it does. a very it, realistic it, picture of your face. <laughs> off of it. It, it has the image of the knights. Uh, of ang ang angular knights. Angular knights. Angular. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That was Bobber's shit, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Bobber's quarter. Mm -hmm. And Robert's former, I was gonna say, uh, I like the idea that you nice there'll be some yeah. Easter eggs, I'm sure, with your first table. stand, and then yeah. you yeah. went to attack, I and then it actually blocked the, the second oh, yeah. guy's attack. You didn't even, yeah. you weren't even meaning yeah. to, and it just like totally. ting. <laughs> Ever. We'll see. Yeah, so I only do two damage because it's a or? light weapon. Cool. Mm -hmm. I figured. Um, all right, so back to mm -hmm. the top. I'm ready. I am too. You go. I've went first. Same times. second verse, same as the first. <laughs> Going for it again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Recalculating. Don't targeting, let dice targeting. rolls hold you back. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you, right. going, same same trick. The chances right. are in your favor this effort time, again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to knock it down to 12 again. 12. All right, unless that round of me being hindered is up now. Was it a round or am I hindered for the rest of the fight? From yeah, like until psionic. something stops it. Um, well, so yeah, I guess technically they're not close to you anymore. So I don't think that that would make. Oh, I see. That wouldn't be very fair. So if they're in your range, then they're right. still yeah, you're good. Right. You. So it's yeah. still a twelve. Mm -hmm. it seems like they're closer, aren't they? Well, he got the he got it initially because he fired that thing, and I did a GM intrusion. Ah, uh, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Oh. GM intrusion. GM intrusion. Oh shit! Um, all right. So what Man, happens? How many ones can we get tonight? Uh, you you uh, fire this blast out of your eyes of onslaught. I thought uh, I had my targeting down, <laughs> and, and you thought you had your targeting. Did. <laughs> However, you strike the the, the <laughs> base of the wagon, and the and it's a scatter shot, and so it, it is like well, you fire and it goes like under the wagon and explodes underneath it, right. and so the wagon er erupts. These are mini black holes. These and, are mini black holes. All right. And and sends sends goods flying in all Excellent. directions and sends the uh, the. 
Murden's uh, scattering as well. Excellent. And you get the impression that they are immediately fleeing. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's cool. Like hell they are. <laughs> Is there one in my range still? You guys hear me mumble. It seems yeah. to be something impairing my ocular you. senses. Yeah. Right. As soon as the other ones Not start playing, my on uh, yes. Shen, Shen moves with fucking haste to come up and take another, take a blow at this one. That's, okay. That's trying to, to get out of the way. All right. Give me a. It was the horses. Attack. The horses oh. distracted me as they ran by. That's what it was. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> the, the you were flew off curious the about conditions. watching in slow motion and processing the data. You're like, there are moments when ho- when the anine like no legs are touching the ground. Right. It's intriguing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I feel like you're just talking like autobiographically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm just a robot. Who knows? Well, look at that. All their legs are all. <laughs> so I'm gonna, right. um, I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna use another effort. Uh, coach, uh, down to a, a two, okay. six. Excellent. Uh, it's not a one, okay? No, it's a three. It's a three. It's a whole three. It's two more than a one. I don't know, man. You you uh, swing and and it ducks underneath it and you smash into this wooden there. fence and send wood chips flying into the air. So yeah. And Shen is mad. <laughs> Um, Somebody roll a 20. I am now. also <laughs> mad. Kilu is uh, mad as he gets a good glimpse over here of this person laying on the ground lagging, and is making I'm a totally speed. Sure. It also could just be my viewing. Hmm. I'm making a speed check to, to okay. get up there immediately mm. to this person laying okay. on the ground. Okay. That is a 15. Nice. Okay. Does that get me there? Yep. And to do a thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. I'm cool with that. That's about, that's probably as best as I'll ever make on a speed roll, because I don't have a ridge. All right, you uh, do it like a treat, treat injury kind of thing? Yeah, I'm going to do some healing on this guy right now. Um, do, I mean, are they dead? Obviously, I'm not going to heal a dead Your person. Your throat is slit. I had said that the throat was slit, but maybe if you roll well enough, I'll change that narrative. <laughs> this is a... What do you think? Intellect to gauge like where this I should is like do Orion's this. Yeah. Uncle. I'm yeah. using I'm using effort. Um, From the proud line I've, of never say die. Yeah. I've got some. I'm ripping He's out hung some of my uh, cloth right, and I'm trying to put it in the right area. It is a ten reduced by one Ooh. with effort. So it's Four. it's eased twice. Because uh, yes. you have a first aid kit, yes. you're trained, and you're using effort. Trained in healing, first aid, and effort. All right. Uh, indeed, it, it is a, a throat cut, but it's not very deep. Oh! So you push feel... this down to try to keep the blood in. You get the bugs in there. Go, go! Oh, yes, that's right. Fine, buddy. The goo, you okay. slap the goo on. I, yeah, I've been rubbing it on my hand whenever I get there. I'm like... Oh God! <laughs> this is gonna gallows. burn. He's gurgling and seems uh, alive when you arrive still, but is struggling. Oh, is My tears are falling on his oh. face. I'm like, I'm, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Where did the leader go? Uh, the Far leader. Gone? The leader is right here. Uh. Yeah, it was flung. That was my GM intrusion. I yeah. wanted to try to spray him with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for kicks. Or you could get this one water. with the hose. <laughs> no. Their weakness to wisdom water. I'm mad at the like the leader has a cipher that He's looks really an interesting. Artifact. Artifact. An artifact, even. Yeah. You know who had that artifact? Yeah. My crazy character in that first game, that wild. Oh yeah. Weirdo that I played. <laughs> He had one of those. We could chase him. I guess I'm just gonna put out the house fire. Like a sprayer. <laughs> we could definitely chase Use the hose, Kelly! You brought the hose up here, right? Alright, give me a roll. Okay. And it's eased. And if you want, it's a, it has an asset from the hose. Okay. 16. Excellent. Let's put oh. out this house fire, y'all. The house is no longer on fire. Fantastic. Oh! Yeah. yeah. You're standing with this weird synth hose that this part over here too, the barn, or is that a The barn is still on fire. Okay. But 
the house is not. They, they didn't really want, there wasn't a whole lot going on in there that they, they had already looted it. Let's um, take off. They haven't gotten away completely yet, have they? Mm -hmm. No. Um, has everybody gone in the before group? Um, yes. I have. Yes. Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay. Ah. Um, they're running. Ah. So they're. So they're uh, no, it's mm. not okay. They have an artifact. The the leader is able to succeed at the long distance hundred foot dash. So he's 100 feet away. The rest of them have only moved 50 mm -hmm. feet. Yeah, he's doing the flightless bird hustle right about now. Someone <laughs> get on a knee right now and chase <laughs> this sucker <laughs> down. Hopping. <laughs> <laughs> With their weird, like, spindly limbs. Yeah. <laughs> Short distances. Um, I'm talking about, like, 10 to 15 feet, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so they're they're sprinting towards... Uh, this This farm is kind of the, on the outskirts of the mythetic woods, mythetic okay. forest, and they're sprinting towards that. Uh, however, Randy is still engaged with this one. Well, actually, this one I think is going to bolt too. Is anyone pursuing them? Emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> no, my judge. I want to go after them. You pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> I want to try. Well, right. the leader, the or leader is 100 perish, feet away. So the rest of them are 50. Well, this is what I want to do. I'm going to use this other cipher here. This, this, this uh, smart, fast twitch bugs, which gives me. Man, your turn, plus two right? to my speed edge. Oh. For one out. I don't think so. Okay. It's and I want to call butt. Okay. You know, oh, their turn just went. You know, yeah. Try to catch well, wait. Let's do. Let's do four facts first, and then right. you can go. That's right. It's just you hadn't done this thing. Yet. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I actually think I'm gonna pull out a cipher here. Yep. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna say. Uh, uh, they will not escape the justice of the knighthood. And I and I like slam this thing down on the ground, and out from it flies up this. Uh, I don't remember how we described it here. It's a, it's an eye in the sky, mm -hmm. and it's weird looking. <laughs> of course it is. Mm -hmm. It shoots up 800 feet and projects everything it sees on the screen that's handheld. But I'm basically just like sending it up, and I'm like, this is like the eye in the helicopter that's looking over as people are like trying to flee out mm -hmm. of a Whoa, scene of a crime, right? Like Channel Four traffic mm -hmm. cop there. <laughs> cool. So basically, just to help track them. <laughs> All right, and wait, let's show it to the camera what it looks like. This is what the eye in the sky looks like. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So I guess it's not a rod at all. It's a. I pull out a, an orb. A yeah. Weird, weird. It shoots spiky up into the ball. sky. What mm -hmm. happens to the rest of the wagon during this time? Uh, they, do they keep going, or did they just stop? The, hor the, the Anine, horses. The horses are outies. Yeah. yeah. The, the Anine have taken off, and the and the wagon has basically just. Like when when the when the reality <laughs> spike reached the actual wagon because it was structurally more like sound than the rest of it, it just and it had lost all that momentum. It just stopped. Cool. Um, but the but the yoke is completely shredded and and the anine have scattered and so have the uh, Mernon mudbirds. Nice. All right. So shag is up. Yeah, I'm gonna do the thing I said I was gonna do. <laughs> all right. So you're gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna smart. Uh, Fast, fast twitch bugs, bugs. So they'll give you uh, two to your speed edge, which Temporarily, means right? um, for an hour. hour. So that means any speed tasks you make, you'll get uh, effort reduced by two. So I can use one effort for speed, right? Yep, for one point. For one point of speed. Yeah, so chasing them, you'll have to succeed at a speed task. Well, if you're chasing the leader, mm -hmm. your distance, your long distance speed right. task of difficulty, difficulty four, four to get the 100 foot. So that's 12, and I'm going to lower by one with spinning one point of speed. Put it up here. All right, so that means it's a nine, right? Mm -hmm. That's how that works. Unless you're trained in like athletics or I running or something like that. <laughs> I am not. So I pull you up the hem of my little holoclaus coat there. There's some very, very basic legs. That 
totally failing. No. Completely failing. Yeah. yeah. That's a two. All right. So you right. you you uh, get tangled up in the bush and leap over, and you met. And for a moment, you're like you're keeping up with the other the other Murden. But then they they like turn and look at you, right. and then they just like bolt in different directions. Right. Like they like scatter off right. in different directions. Right. Uh, and and yeah, they. Uh, yeah. Do I like wipe they, out? They've basically gotten away. Oh, yeah. they got away. They, 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 <laughs> they, they, Unless they, you guys are persistent, is somebody else chasing them? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you. Uh, They're headed to the woods. Uh, maybe we'll run into them there. I feel like putting out the fire is more important, and I have the stupid hose anyway. The farmer seems like That's he's gonna stupid. live. The hose rocks. The day has been saved, Kelly. but they got away with the artifact. Thing. Yeah, whatever memory uh, would be interesting or crucial is gone. It's probably a lot of memories, you know? Uh, probably a lot of memories. Now that you guys think about it, you remember uh, some weird talk in in back in uh, Aeon in the city that you guys came from of various people uh, getting mugged in an alley and then forgetting where they live. Mm-hmm. I need Various different weird stories that people were telling in the tavern of, oh yeah, my friend like does it can't mind remember where they live. Mind they got mind. mugged in an alley and this happened. Or how far away is the leader at this point? A uh, hundred feet. I mean, if you got some, we steel, got an eye in the sky. Yeah. yeah, you at least know ex- <clears throat> where <clears throat> where he is. Yeah, if you talk to Forfax. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I could just be giving an aid or something to be, like, shouting out generally where, where they are for somebody else I to think, be chasing I them think down. that seems fair, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I could get close enough to even try to attack them. Cause I no, don't... but you can, like, give chase. Yeah. Kind of thing, like we did. Yes, I that want well to. For you before. I'm relentless. <laughs> I have to get it. Mm-hmm. For good reason. All right. I'm going to evoke my aspect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Beautiful. All right, give me a speed check then. Okay. And I am going to say this is one step higher because mm. there's stuff in your way. I got an eight. An eight on the dice? Yeah. Also stuck in the bush. Who's already left? <laughs> the anine is You're, the You leap over the bush and stumble over all go? the detritus. No, I, I'm, I'm like shouting out where they are. In, I'm like, the leader is headed in this direction. Yeah. Check, you went? Yeah, I went already. I, I wiped out. They all failed. I turn and I turn and look to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One on six. I odds are against me. The leader. We need that artifact. I'm on the ground. Get that artifact now, please. Profanity is pouring from <laughs> Kelly's mouth that it shall not be repeated. He stands like <laughs> so. He's like, uh, Shen stands up and just. Takes a deep breath and fucking digs in, digs in a foot and just like. Pfft. So he, he he takes off. He's like, all right. Are you trained in running? <laughs> or uh, like athletic? He is swift, right? Yeah. Well, you or you move like, moves a, like cat. a cat. So I get I get extra speed pool. I'm not trained mm-hmm. in running. I have jump actions, balance, and climb. So mm-hmm. uh, dodging objects might be easier, but the actual like running is speed, not, not so much. Not yeah. the same. But you do get that okay. edge in speed, though. Don't I you? have an edge in speed. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll say that jumping is going to help you in this task because there is stuff in the way. Um, jumping over the head. Yeah. Running here, little parkour. Well, he'd be the only one who yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Parkour a bowl. All right. All jump actions, we balance and climb. You. All right, so we're looking at a nine Dude, on the, the dice. One. If you want to spend <laughs> effort to reduce it, it would be a six. See, it's um, already sounding good. It's already sounding yeah, good. Yeah, I'm gonna reduce it by one. So that, that ta- you said that takes it down to a six. Mm-hmm. All right, come on, come on, knight. Come on, one. Seven. Wow. Ah. And yes. Jeez. All right, le- yes. leaping over this over this bush. <laughs> Mm. And sprinting after the uh, there's like those after like the leader marks every time I step I'm like Pfft. yes um, and uh, and you're starting you're gaining on him yes and the creature's glancing back and it's like let's keep in 
Well, let's do, like, unless somebody else is doing something that would affect it, we'll do, like, basically a chase between oh. them. Okay, what, or what can I be doing to aid him? Do, do I need to be running, continuing and running behind and, like, yelling? Because I'm interested in catching this guy, but... Yeah, I think you can provide an, an asset. But at this point, he's, like, caught, kind of caught up to him. Okay. Um... You still got your eye in the sky. But I think you know where all that, of them are going. Okay. Yeah. You could potentially be getting one of the inane animals and attempting to come in as Calvary. Can you steer the thing or no? It's no, got to have two people. I don't think so. I can steer my dragonfly. Yeah. I got that eye. I don't know, too. <laughs> um, yeah. It's 800 feet in the air, though. Yeah. Okay, so you're seeing uh, the ones that have scattered are like all, they're all working their way into the forest, um, the mephitic forest in the distance, which is a, uh, um, a single plant uh, that is, has grown over this valley, right? And so it's like Whoa. these crazy roots that have, are spanning the valley all together, and it's just like a plant that's um, the size of a whole forest, right? Uh, awesome. And you're seeing uh, kind of them like running up these roots, which are are as big as a road, right? You could actually ride a, a wagon up them. Um, and from this vantage point of way up in the sky, you're seeing uh, this kind of weird, uh, almost like a hive insect insectoid like hive thing in the center of this forest. Uh, that you get the impression is is a lair of some kind mm -hmm. that they're heading to. Yeah, they're gonna make it to the lair. And we're gonna have to delve there, right? <laughs> delve away. Delve away. Can I use my turn to try to put up the more barn like pool? Yes. Liquid. Sorry. What what pool have you been rolling for that? Liquid I've just down. been rolling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all rolling. Yeah, so I think pick here. some some molten lead. I could see any of the pools being just, just like just pools. Pour down. I'll use uh, you use uh you stone and, 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 and my hose, so it's too lower intellect. Just. The hot soup and just pour it down there because I'm that's, that's smartly enough, doing it. That's what you do. Excellent. It's, it's, it's warfare. Six. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you're putting, yeah, you put out the barn. Sweet. Yeah. And I return to the human on the ground when I will care for them the rest of this. All right. Narrative. Randy. Shant. Are you trying to? What, what's your goal? Are you trying to like knock this guy down or drag Come him up from behind and get switched give from him this a key. give him a knock on the back Thank that you. will do damage. Knock him, knock him down. Um, okay. So like double is this character the, the, the enemy is <laughs> running you know. on foot? Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh. Am I in in a place where I am now able to swing at them? Or is there more that we need to do? Um, I think if you swing at him Simon and me. miss, or or like if you swing at him, you're not going to be able to keep up with him. Yeah. So I would basically need to uh, grapple this person then, right? Yeah. I have unarmed attack, nice. so would I be able to potentially like try and leap on this person and use an unarmed pounds. attack in the same kind of yeah. like it's a pound. Yeah, like a pounce, okay. Or like a uh yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Because that I don't good. have to use that means I can use don't I, I mean it's an attack, but it's not using a weapon. Yeah, I'll say it's it's sense. shifted. Um yeah, go ahead and make me a roll and it'll be eased by one from your uh, unarmed training. Or wait, your your unarmed training, you're not trained in it. You do not trained, damage. but I'm allowed to use it and, and get a medium weapons. Worth. Gotcha. So. Uh, okay, uh, I w I'll say that doesn't ease it. That's all right. Uh, Am I allowed to know what I'm aiming for? Yeah, you're looking at a, at a nine on the dice, a three okay. difficulty. So I'm gonna use. Um, so there's also this chase mechanic. If you're if you succeed on a number of speed tasks equal to the NPC's level, then you would like effectively catch him. Um, mm -hmm. So we could do it like that, and you've already succeeded at one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like catch him, four. actually like catch him, and mm -hmm. he's like mine. Yeah. <laughs> you 
he's yours. I mean, I just catch and then kill, and then there's catch and he's gone. Yeah, you know? and we can resolve <laughs> it quick by just rolling. A, okay. A couple so then I'll do a speed. I'll do the speed test. And okay. See if we can. So it's a twelve, and if you're trained in, you said you're not trained in running or anything like that. No. Right? He has jumping. I have jump, balance, climb, but that's not exactly the same. No. Is this type of speed need? Um, I'll say that it might help in the future, but right now you're on the yeah. edge of the forest, yeah, so you're, you're looking good. at you're looking at a twelve on the dice. Um, you can ease it. So I can ease it I'll, with I effort. Can, yeah, and I have a one effort, so I can ease it by one. So that takes it to a three, which is a nine. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm doing it. It focuses in, pulses his green veins, and just goes for it. Yes! yes! 19. 19, yeah. yes. If you think that 9 is an easy number to get, but it is not. No. no. It is not. All right. That's the thing. With all, there's no bonus numbers right. on top. It's just there. That's right. it. All right. So with the 19, you've succeeded. Um, I'm going to give you an asset on the next the next roll. So you're basically like like at his side, and you're like kind of a little bit of a step ahead of him. Like right. you're, you're starting to get the upper hand. You got, um, you got an and though. at this point, you guys have <laughs> you guys are reaching the... Uh, You've reached like the en- basically entrance to like the cliff edge is like getting near to you, and the this forest is like these crazy big roots that have grown into the edge of this, and then are like suspended over this valley. And so you're chasing next to him, and he's like uh, moving towards this root, and and to, so balance is going to be helpful in this chase. Uh, because you guys are both running up this basically like root that's you know three four feet yeah. wide, yeah, right. Tarzan style. Boom. Mm-hmm. Um, so give me another roll. This uh, is another speed do, do, one. Do, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. And this will be eased uh, from your balance. Okay. So we're looking at a nine on the dice. All right. So I'm gonna ease it one with an uh, with my head edge. So that'll be take it down to a six. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and it was double eased. Ah! Yeah. It's all right. All right. Um, one last roll. You're you're like running up into this forest. The dense sounds of the of the you creatures have around you. This isn't enough, Keith. <laughs> well, it's, this right. one's eased as well, and it's eased from the balancing. Um, so you're looking at six on the dice, and okay. on the last roll, a six, six or nine, ten. You're gonna use it again? I, I, yeah, I mean, I need to make this as. I've, I've gone all this way. Right. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're like expending a lot of effort. Yeah, my, my speed pool is, is being virtually exhausted. You, can, you guys yes. haven't rested and stuff no, yet either. Good. Um, all right, so the, it's, you, it's been eased twice by, by other items mm-hmm. and then once by me. Yep. Okay, so it's down to what, like a three? Uh, a three, yeah. Three. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my fucking God! No way! Come on! (laughs) All right, make me an intellect defense. Damn it! Ooh! Uh, So you you trip him down to the ground, onto this root. You're, you're like, neck and neck with him. You turn and you clothesline him, and he drops to the ground, and you pounce on top of him, and he grabs your head with with the glove. Give me me a... Give me an intellect, right. intellect defense. Those, right. 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 I'm right. also gonna ease this one by one. Fourteen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he he grabs hold of your head, and you're hearing the crazy <laughs> oh, no. chattering <laughs> sound as he's reaching towards you. Grabs hold of your head, and you're like, you feel as if like st- memories are being like pulled from your head, but you're just like. Wham! And just punch him in the face, and he just <laughs> gets all dazed and then drops to the ground. Yes. <laughs> so nice. Woo! Yes. Okay. Right, we can oh do that. We God, can do that. it's so painful. That was that was kind of yeah. stressful right it, there. It, yeah. it was, it was Thumps stressful. him right right in the temple. <laughs> Does that ease the the noise that he's been producing? Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, Shenton is just half spent, right? Blade. He's blade. She grabs blade. him. Blade. Grabs blade. him by the blade. 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 <laughs> whatever around the collar right. and like tries to haul him up a little bit. And do I see any of these other characters? No, but you do see creatures that, <laughs> that are moving around on the tree branches and watching you. I give out a loud yell. 
they, they scurry like back into hiding. Yes, the impressive display. You hear the primal uh, drums in the distance. I pull out my uh, my pole, my um, the pole arm right, and I make it like extended out, and I like shove it through his like. The, the jet, like, what if he has something that lets his arms out, I slide it through the back so his arms are, like, out like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I take that, that my oddity, my wire, and I, like, I string up the sides by, behind his shoulders, yes. and I'm dragging him, yes. dragging him back like by that. By this crazy piano wire. Yeah. I've got, it, I've got it, like, tied around that, and then his legs are tied around, too, Excellent. so it's, like, he's, like, tied up like he's on a cross. Yes. Oh, yes. Back. And so on the camera, slowly. seeing on the camera first, you see him, you see Shen emerging from uh, one of these roots, mm-hmm. dragging the, uh, glaive, 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 As soon as I get back, I just, like, crumble on the ground. I'm just, like, laying there, panting. I got him. Whatever the, that is, you can have it. What's it called? The artifact? Yeah. He's like kind of knocked out, right? It is a memory collector. You have acquired the memory collector. You have acquired the memory collector. (laughs) Great. Don't let me touch it. All right. I I break things. User can selectively collect memories (laughs) from a target touched with the glove. Any creature with memories, including intelligent machines, can be targeted. The user must specify the nature of the memory to be removed, (laughs) such as, quote, anything you know about automatons, or quote, everything that happened over the last minute, or even, quote, your name, quote, how to speak, and so on. So we're going to have to understand how to use it and then use it on the automaton. Regardless of the memory stolen, the target typically falls unconscious for about an hour afterward or until roused. Uh, Stolen memories are collected in a small synth pellet. Touching a memory pellet gives a preview of the memories collected therein. Wow, that's and nice. if a creature touching a pellet wills it so, the memories in it are infused into the creature. So they're not stored in the glove or the goggles. Okay. Wow. It's on page 19 of the Machine God book. Well, that so thing was cool. Than the original one? Yeah, yours was like, uh, it recorded like one memory mm-hmm. and, and could well, play it back. Yeah, well, it could record more, but every time I had to roll and be like, did it break? Yes, this does that too. All artifacts do that. They roll the depletion roll. I make my way to hey, the Bruce Bruce animal and Welcome. I my, my water pack. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Bruce is in the house. And Thanks I'm for joining. It. We just captured uh, the Mudbird leader who oh. had the memory collector. In an epic 1991 chase. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sprinting yeah. into the mephetic forest, which... Uh, actually, I've got uh, I've got a cool image for. <laughs> yeah, Shen's drinking from his canteen. <laughs> Very animalistic for for uh, mm-hmm. for Shent who journeyed into the uh, yeah. into yeah, the forest. Awesome. Oh, yeah. also, I had this note I forgot to tell you, but uh, Randy, you can take a look at kind of the the feeling of it. You get a strange feeling of kinship with this forest. Just, just the image on the mm-hmm. bottom. Oh, I was like, yeah. What? Oh, so I see. Like this forest is pretty cool. With. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> All right, so you guys have dragged the uh, mud blood leader mm-hmm. back. How's my person doing? Is healing um, has come to the the farmer. Uh, what's his name again? Veteran says. What's your name? My name is Veteran. Oh, I'm yes. so glad you're okay. Yeah. I believe I'm a farmer, but I don't remember the first That's... damned thing about animals. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure that out. Maybe he planted plants instead? I don't remember Green. much about plants either. And sees one of the, like, rotten kava fruit on the ground, and I wasn't very good farmer, was I? <laughs> let's, let's not rush it. It's okay. We got time. I think I might lay down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> As he looks around and sees his, his house that's been burned. <laughs> I think maybe we ought to lay down outside the house. I, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> What's Robert. the story about the automaton? The aut- automaton is also unconscious. If you guys work to uh, Kelly. whatever. He- doesn't have to answer that right now. Do you I remember mean, it? 
Or wait, I'm sorry, you're asking Federin. Yeah. I, I thought you were asking Keith. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh, he glances over at the, uh, well, first at Relay. I point at the unconscious automaton. Right. Says, uh, oh, that's that's Radius right there. It's a member of the Amber Gleaners. And you guys you guys recognize the name Radius. Mm-hmm. Um, some of you have worked with uh, it in the past. Uh, wow, the really? The actual Radius? The actual Radius, indeed. <laughs> um, who looks eerily like Relay, um, though fully pieced, mm-hmm. fully pieced together. This part. This part. What was he doing at your farm? I have no idea. Farm. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, rude. You're just into your surprise. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> he knows nothing either. Cluck, cluck, cluck. All right. Uh, I'm going to go turn, well, reactivate. Uh, radius? What is it? Radius. Radius. Uh, reactivate him. Uh, so I guess I got to do a huge numero to... No, uh, you you managed to wake him, All right. wake it. Um, Can I ask him what's your designation? Um, Radius studies you for a long moment and says, "Father." What? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Quirt. And then yeah. shakes its head and says, "I." Last I recall, I was trying to stop this fire from happening. Saw some mudbirds approaching here. I was here to visit Federin. Well, we... We we have friends? We ran he off. He doesn't seem cool enough. Honestly. He, is he has <laughs> many... Blaring at Kelly. <laughs> All right. He has interesting stories and knows the Mephetic Forest well. Oh. He doesn't know a lot anymore. Hi, Shan. More glares. Psychic roll. It's an head one because it can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's trying. Is there anything you don't remember? I feel as if I had brothers. Why did you? Call really dad, other than the fact he'd be a really cool dad. Just seemed a part of long buried memories. I'm still processing, and I actually say that right now processing. Do you have nine children? I feel like I had nine brothers. Or maybe it was five. Five seems more accurate. Do you know of this? There are five versions searching, <laughs> processing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right. I'm blanking. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call the blank rule on that. The blank rule. Alright. I'm um. blanking. No, not the X rule. That's a different rule altogether. Okay, together. yes. The blank rule. The blank rule. rule. All right. The blanking All right. rule, which I was There are too at. many memory gaps for me to, to, to fill this you, you, you faced some uh, analysis right. paralysis as, right. as yeah. an right. automaton. Would uh-huh. this be a good right. time to do an action to re- take uh, recovery? Yeah, you guys or are welcome to. I wanted to. I'm going to do that. Is there enough time to do a 10 minute one for Because my character yeah. is a little spent. Yeah. Have these characters spent a day with me? I'm gonna do one action. So it's a D. Probably they've been yeah, with me, yeah. Right? You guys have drained from Aeon. Yeah. You, you, you all get plus one to these rolls. All right. Excellent. So because you've hung out with me for a day. And you're awesome. Right. I'm like right. baller nurturer. So if you guys want to use more than one, uh, the first time you check at the uh, I think it's at the bottom. Yeah, one action and then and then ten minutes. Um, and roll a d6 each time, and you'll add you'll add two because you get one from your tier and one from uh, Daniel's ability from Kiku. Oh, so we get two rolls or just a plus one roll plus two. One roll mm-hmm. plus two. Okay. But then if you feel like you still need more points, you can spend oh. ten minutes action. Uh, I got you. Who's rolling sixes? Okay. Uh, well, I'm just gonna take an action, and I am immediately moving to interrogate this <laughs> this guy that we have captured. Uh, I'm I'm tying him up. I'm binding him. 
in the ways that the knights Greetings. taught me. Tis my homeland. Torbit. 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 The great land of Torbit. Who is that? Daniel. <laughs> the uh, realm of men. Um, Hi, Daniel. <laughs> And I am, yeah. That was a farmer or a radius? No, no, the... um, Oh, the mudbird. The mudbird, yeah. 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 I stand up and, and like, stand, you know, menacingly over the top of it while you're doing this. Yeah, and and, and we're we're taking that that artifact, like, off of him so that he can no longer use it against us. Mm -hmm. Uh, The memory stealer is... Someone roll D6. I'm not touching it. It's a three. A three. It's a level six. Damn. Yeah, boy. Um, and yeah, some of this this like pail of water or whatever that they were using to splash out the the place. I splash it on his face to wake him up. Yeah, have you got my hose? Yeah, just and he's bound. It's, it's downy, like black, uh, feathery kind of fur. It gets all slicked. <laughs> And you're hearing the feedback, yeah, kind of weird excellent. radio. It's still down there moving like that? Wait, what are, we, what are we hearing the feedback from? Oh, yeah, everybody gets one XP for finding an artifact. Yo. I'll give oh, a sweet. sweet. I'll, Thank I'll, you, Void Effigy. Keith, I'll give a, a drop of the hammer on that thing's chest if it's moving around. Well, he just woke it up, right? Oh, oh, he's that's right, he's interrogating it. So I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I've got it ready in case this thing does something real dumb. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's still tied, tied up, up though, it's yeah. tied with your oddity or wire. Um, and what are you asking at? Yeah, uh, what were you meaning to do here? Um, and give me a, a roll, like a per, uh, persuasion. And, and this you're you're trained in, right? You're trained in. Uh, I'm trained in persuasion and also in detecting lies. Mm. So, okay, let's do persuasion I'm first. I'm trained in deception. Watch his breathing so pattern. If I had one, could I technically just. Okay, I had a. No. I rolled a nine, and it was east one. one. Yeah, it's kind of. Did like you count his? his? It seems like you. How's that work? I got to roll and help him. Oh, okay. No, um, I think you can help him, yeah, like doing the sensing. For lies, but not in the in the uh, yeah. Yeah. persuasion. Okay. So okay, you succeed. Um, you're you're asking him what he was what he was doing mm-hmm. here. Um, you're hearing just like, and uh, he points at the at the memory collector and goes like this. Mm-hmm. And then is like kind of uh, gesturing at all the chains and the like mm-hmm. rings and all the kind of jewelry he has he was using and is pointing at your head through. and is pointing at his head and is like to steal your wealth mm-hmm. all of your wealth huh. so you're just a bandit huh? <laughs> he's a mind dude. mind my face Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go out What here is that? Way. Is that the way that he's communicating? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's trying to talk to you guys, but can tell that you can't understand his communication, so then he's gesturing. I grab the goggles. But and, that's his voice, that, oh. that like weird feedback. Okay. And, I, and I put them on. I put, them on. I put, put the gloves and the, go- and, and the goggles on. Okay. I'm going to try to use them. Okay. I'm going to try to use them to re emit said emotions to. How close are you to me? I'm standing close to me. Close enough. I, I moved to the other side of right. the enemy. Right. <laughs> You're like stepping away. Uh, yeah, I like moved to the other side. My character's not not big on Numenera. Yeah. Uh, All right, so you can collect memories. What memory are you? You're trying to collect a memory from him? No, I'm trying to extract a book. I, I want to find a memory that, that allows me. Is this a two way situation with this glove? That's what I want to No, it just takes. All right. Um, and then it creates this pellet. So if you were to find a pellet, that would be. All right. Who are you working for? It's like a rat. Like a that's, that's the okay. Who are you working for? Okay, and give me a uh, intellect. Roll. Intellect, yeah. It's a positive. Right. I'm gonna put effort and edge on that because reasons. So that gives it drops it down by one, whatever it is. Little brown squishy. Do I know. Comes out. Um. Yeah, you're looking at a nine. Difficulty <laughs> after your edge right. after your effort. Fifteen. Yeah, Excellent. we're back in the game. Now. Excellent. All right. Um, who are you working for? You ask, and then you touch his quite coldly too. Literally, touch his head. Um, your head. You you see a vision of um, um, 
in first person of uh, this mudbird holding a mirror and looking at itself and this vast behind it, like a selfie kind of thing. Oh, behind it is this lovely. vast uh, mound of all kinds of crates and goods and whatnot uh, that it has collected, and you can see its chains and it. So it's, he's working for himself. Mm -hmm. right. um, however, you did roll pretty well, and you right. see uh, <laughs> you see out of the out of the corner of the mirror a human figure who has a uh, who has a tattoo of a of a ring mm -hmm. around their face um, and a shaved head um, mm -hmm. and and robes that is being. Uh, dragged around, and this person is wearing the goggles and the glove, and these mudbirds have clearly captured this person and, mm -hmm. and is, like, uh, wrestling them about. Oh. Who was the human and that you... As you're watching, you're seeing them be... Right. Kill him. Mm -hmm. All right. Who was the human who... The mudbird drops unconscious, because it's, like, an hour, right, that they... That, as you pull the memory out of it. And uh, you guys all see this kind of weird quivering moment as as Relay is, is holding the mudbird's head, then it drops unconscious, and then out from the corner of the goggles, a, a synth pellet pops out. Plink. <laughs> <laughs> synth all right. pellet. I actually like, walk away, walk towards you guys, but I tossed the, the pellet at you and explain the situation. I just like, yeah. and like mm -hmm. toss it. Yeah, I want hot potato. Did you get the preview before he hot potatoes it? That's what I'm trying to do is you got a preview. Yeah, you get the preview. Right. By just by touching it? Right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can't God. see this. Right. Hot potato. Right. Fourfax reaches out and catches it. Right. Yeah. And, and, and like actually takes in the information. Uh, Anytime Fourfax does something, I want there to be like whip crack. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. lightning strikes in the distance. Yeah. 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 And then and then after after uh, like witnessing that, I, I think I mean I don't know anybody else here wants to view it, but I but then then he like crushes it in his fist right as he sees them like kill that human. And he's like, this beast deserves the same death. We need to gain more information on the. The human they took the memory stealer from. We have all the information we need. We know the lair that they've taken them to. I've seen it in the eye. Agreed. Well, I turned to to I can't remember my own son's name. It's terrible. Radius, Radius. Radius. Right. son of right. diameter. I don't even know if he's my son. All right, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Son of I, 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 I'm not certain of our, our relation. However, we were probably designed and constructed in the same collective. That does not make me your father, however. I neither, defer, neither confirm nor deny that. I, I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of has I, a, a I moment. felt as if it was the right word. Right. As far as the rest of us in the collective, there are possibly five left as far as I know some strange phenomenon happened and four of us perished I don't even know how I just didn't hear them anymore I feel as if I might know something about that well there's a lot of unanswered questions in my head I've rewritten my subroutines countless times so I don't remember too much of anything <laughs> to be honest except for what the next 30 minutes or so I don't know, I don't know. my, my, my subroutines are bad I feel I Dream feel old. as if I've been wandering for some 30 years time searching for my brethren that was very specific These automatons are so gloomy. You guys gotta cheer up a bit. I love them. <laughs> you would, Kelly. Oh. Four packs is like, indeed, cheer up, and then he slits the throat of this thing <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> oh, God. Today we have justice. <laughs> and then I just casually start untying my, my string and pull my my pull out, right. clean it off. But we're you all, you all hear the uh, the volume of this white noise static go up to a ten, mm. and then it's like, <laughs> 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 
turned them on. And it's death rattle. That's great. All right. I mean, I got a lot more questions, but I don't think they'll be answered tonight. I don't know mm. what I, what else to ask other than we need to go get you know more information on this glove in the the lair. The lair. Forest. The lair. I ask, did, does he know anything about the lair from where these these birdmen came from? These uh, mud birds. I do not. But I'm willing to join you to find more. Indeed. And Hefsa's mighty axe. All right. Well, that is, that is totally a situation that is up to my companions. Well, right now, we can't do anything matter. until we get... What's his name? Ferdinand? <laughs> Federin. Federin. Ferdinand. <laughs> Back to our camp and get him healed because... We don't him. have a camp. We're going to make a camp, okay? We can't go marching in the woods until after we... Shouldn't you fix his house or something? We're going to help him fix his house, okay? Obviously. But Send him back to the city and let him be. Yeah, He's our, a lot our of base job. of operations is in the city. Let's do our job and get back to the city ourselves. Who cares about those stupid birds? It's just Ferdinand that I care about, okay? Whatever his name is. Sorry, Ferdinand. <laughs> Federin. Sorry, Federin. <laughs> no, that, that's okay. You're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. All right, so you guys are... Venturing into the woods, or are we going back to the city? Are you going back to the city? Uh, you know, I want to go in, into the woods. Yeah, if we can um, secure continue our safe our transport job. for uh, Ferdinand. Federin. Federin. Well, we um, might be able to. You might be able to track down those horses that got that ran off. And we had our own Indians <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. Take, we have to have two get people the horses, give, them, we know this. give them to the guy in the automaton. Boy, and yeah, the boy, city. Our objective was just to get the stuff out of the obelisk, and we've done that. It wasn't. No, it was to mm-hmm. scout out the mephitic forest. Oh, yeah. scout out the yeah, forest. Yeah, and like map so this, it. So we haven't done our job yet. If uh, Radius could uh, uh, Radius I mean, that. that um, right, that's what he did. Really scout it out anyway. It, it, it is what we're doing. If yeah. we're going in there to do this, then we are scouting it out, right? It literally is the mission that we are on right now. So we should write a report about those. Creatures and yeah. send it back with them to the city. <laughs> Report. Um, Radius is cool with taking Federin if that is yeah. wishes, but uh, don't mention the glove in your report or the glasses. If you if you find any pellets <laughs> that came from my memory, I would ask that you bring them back to me. Indeed, seems like there would be some answers there for us all. Yeah. Veteran, there's nothing more in this world that I would rather do than bring you those pellets back. You understand? <laughs> so <laughs> serious. He's so from, sincere. from what you've said, I have a feeling that I can't be a farmer anymore unless I get them back. I, mean, I don't even remember what damn trees these are. There's what any of these stuff animals to do are. other than farming. Look, if he wants to farm, like he can you farm, okay? Look into it. <laughs> I don't know anything. I, I, we'll get you a job. I write up some, like, um, This some, is your chance to start a new life. I write up some uh, some Bob inn Winston. or something <laughs> that it. I know the, the inn shop owner or something. Cool. And uh, I give him my last shin, and I say, stay here this night. And I pass him the he shin. He probably All right. serves you, like, warm milk. Yeah. They, they ride off on the Indian. Um, all right, and you guys... I'll leave you on, on a hook as you head into the okay. mephitic forest. Are you guys resting anymore before you go in? Or are you? No, I'm, 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 I'm good resting. I didn't expend any effort. I don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> I rested and got eight points I'm back. I want to rest more. I'm going to take it. I'll spend in that two minutes. Yeah, nice, I got zero ten. five. Mm-hmm. All right, so pretty well. you guys head back into the mephitic forest, which is suspended by these massive roots. It's a single huge tree. Um, tangled roots uh, and you guys are walking up these these roots that are like as wide enough for a wagon to have Ooh. been pulled up um, and as you're uh, here's, here's the picture you guys can pass around this there's some figures that are I'm showing it on the stream at the moment right. some figures that, that loom and watch you guys as you approach Great. Uh, that's just what <coughs> I wanted looming figures looming figures and one <coughs> Steps forward. Oh, they are looming. Ooh, suck its memory. 
<laughs> Boom! <laughs> Thank you. Become artifacted. <laughs> and it looks like this. Oh, hello. Right on, the, on the stream. Beautiful. Covered in uh, kind of scales of mushroom fungus. Oops. <laughs> wielding a, a pointed staff of, of mushroom, pointed mushroom nest. So petrified mushroom. And, yes. and you hear the strange, strange mutterings in this, a similar but different uh, form of this psionic communication on the same kind of radio wave. You hear it speaking. Um, but Shent recognizes it. The language seems rooted in Shent's blood. Are you a mushroom oh, man, Shent? Uh, and you hear it speaking. Shent's a petri dish. You hear it say, Abomination! Oh. Be gone, foul abomination! Oh. He fucking swings his pole arm around and mm -hmm. pulls up. And we'll, uh, move? we'll return on that note next, next, week. Oh. next week. Sweet. That's a good one. Yeah, I feel like our ending shot is if you, if, screen if, blinking on a... Uh, you don't necessarily have to fight it. No, but, but my character's <laughs> making a stance of like, I am here and I'm not yes. being yeah. deterred. This feels like Freaking Doctor Who. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks everyone for popping in. GG everybody. Our our longtime uh, friends Void Effigy and uh, Bruce Cordell. Thanks for stopping in. Writer yeah. of the module that we're running. Super cool. Thank uh, you. And catch us next week at the same time uh, for this. And uh, Friday we're gonna take a break from Expedition Dracana as a few players are gonna be out. Um, but we will be playing the new Brotherwise game. Uh, Call to Adventure, or a cool card game that tells a fun story of heroes and whatnot. So we'll be playing that uh, on Friday. So catch us hey, Josh, on Friday for that. Could you unplug this? Uh... Mm -hmm. And let's do our sign out. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs>